Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll sit here so it's something. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Look at me sitting here, chat. <laughs> Guys, Fiona Nova is here. She's just housing a burrito. Oh, no, a salad. Avocado toast. Avocado toast. Avocado toast. I was wrong six times in a row. <clears throat> Today's stream upgrade I'm claiming is this podium. Yeah, this is a podium. <laughs> it's a side table. It's a podium, guys. This is, it's a podium now. I don't have to store this uh, on my lap. Great news, everyone. Sorry, we're a little behind today, technically. We're just such busy LA people, you know? Yeah, we're really not. I'm fully unemployed. I have no excuse. I'm really not busy. I just, like, can't organize my time. Well, we needed to get avocado toast, and that took slightly oh, longer than expected. Nice. Yeah. Dude, avocado toast is bomb. Don't let anyone tell you yeah, otherwise, chat. It is, but it's up. You guys know avocado. <laughs> avocado, huh? Uh, Avocado tastes like clean dick. So, really? If you like wash, if you like wash slash shower, clean your nitrile, maybe it smells <laughs> like an avocado. That's what I heard. Really no, like I can't. Oh. Chat, they are claiming that if you wash your penis, it tastes like okay. an avocado. Just no, so, in case like you can. It taste like oh, it avocado. smells like one. Like smells like one. We're That's off to a crazy. horny start as usual. Oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't bring my laptop because I was like, it's gonna be dead anyways. And look at my phone. Oh, dying? Um, Wait, do you have an iPhone? Yeah. I have a charger somewhere. I have oh, a bunch well, of chargers in yeah, here. Yeah, if, if you have one, um, I don't need my phone for this. Guys, let me tell you, I'm a mess. Today, we're a mess. Oh, there's an outlet here. For the first time ever, we're a mess. Is it live? Is it live? We're live. Um, give me just a minute. I'm gonna I, let me get a few stories in here before we go live. Yeah, Kendall coming in with a hot outfit. The beautiful Kendall Lynn. Kendall Lynn. At, at, Kendall Lynn. You should do that, yeah. You do should. That. Do, in, do, do Christians. Oh, I don't know. Wait, is Nightbot just my Twitch? I think so. Oh, okay. Ooh, guys. Okay, also, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this here because this is... So far, the stories we're going over today, some of them dangerously close to real news, I gotta say. Secret Chinese police stations? Let's get what? controversial. Oh, here. Is this not it? Oh, I have to log in. Today's top story, secret Chinese police stations. Oh. I don't give a it's fine. And I'm really appreciative. Funny that off you. brand Halloween costume. No, <laughs> really? More? You know, I love a good list of pictures for us oh, to go so through. Good. Gamer is racist, huh? You have a, a command. It says get an exclamation point Fortnite. Yeah. You used to have Fortnite sub games. I had Fortnite sub games? Yeah, that was, <laughs> you have a command for I do? Yeah. I don't think I've ever played Fortnite with, or maybe. <laughs> Did I do it? Did I do it maybe like once? Maybe I did it once and I was like, yeah, this is gonna be a thing. And then I and then I didn't log in back to Twitch for like three years. Good afternoon, my fellow degenerates. Yes, Megantron. <clears throat> uh, okay, we got three stories in here. That's a good starting point. What the? Cops are still fainting when they touch fentanyl? Oh god, alright, I have opinions on this. Um, cops are just constantly claiming that they are dying from touching fentanyl, which I, I think is a dubious claim. What? It's like, I don't know. We can like, what? Like, what kind of... Cops keep claiming that everything is laced with fentanyl, and some stuff is, for sure. Some? Um, oh, we're just... I guess, yeah, let's go for it, right? Wait, wait, what time is it? One seventeen? Three minutes. Three, we'll one, go at one twenty. Until then, we can't be held accountable for this starting soon. Yeah, content. yeah, yeah. Let's just, like... 
We're just gonna let people slowly get in here. We're late. Mike's hot, by the way. Don't worry, I'm sharing my shitty fentanyl of yeah. opinions uh, with awareness that the mics are hot. Is Kasim streaming right now? Yeah, is Kat Kasim is going strong. Oh, look at that. Let's Can't wait till he uh, raids us. <laughs> yeah, he better. <laughs> okay, well, right now Kasim is just a Doritos ad on my side. Oh, so. cool. Okay. Open you up as well. You know what? I can put this centered so oh, we can yeah. both. Wherever, use it. yeah. Whatever you need to do. I just didn't bring my laptop. We can go one laptop. Who needs multiple laptops? Dude, live and sleazy, I gotta say. And possible oh, MVP. Live, live and sleazy MVP, Foxy Grandpa MVP. We love you should all. We start, should we start giving out MVPs for the month? Maybe we should. Live and sleazy's really been killing it. Thank you for sharing Thanks. all of these wonderful yeah. stories. And I just everything. And I also want to see if you guys like if, if it's live and sleazy or is it live, live and, and sleazy. sleazy. Yeah, I would like to say it right. I would like to say it correct. UK minister criticized over call for gay World Cups fan to show and then dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. All right, I'll what, could it what could it be? I mean, oh, oh to show respect. respect. Oh okay. no, I thought it was show penis. Dude, if it was show penis in Qatar, then imagine. Oh no. Okay. What happened? Oh, oh no! Chris is Oh no! Oh no! Guys, there's tons of streamer drama going on. Oh, no. oh do, you, do you do you have your phone? Should we tweet it out? I will. Tweet. Should we hit up our social? I will hit up Ooh. my socials. Casim, hello. I see you seeing us. I don't have your audio on though, so. what it is <laughs> that's a that's a good tweet <laughs> that is a good tweet wow so many fentanyl stories is it fentanyl or fentanyl 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 i don't know the problem is chant can't really help us with pronunciations no they can't we'll never know how's the camera's temperature you know what great question let's check yeah i turned the ac on today so hopefully Maybe. better oh, was it not on yesterday it was not we were just using so far it feels cool so far, it feels normal. Cool. And so far, my internet's temperature is fine. The internet? Fine. That builds about, they said, fent fentanyl. 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 Yeah. Fentanyl. Three, three, three viewers, uh, angel number. Oh, yeah. Faint it's just, anal? Faint anal. Faint anal. I like that. Uh, we have no choice. Apple says iPhones will switch over to USB-C. Yeah, oh, fuck good. yeah. Honestly, this is great thank news. God. I want everyone to be on USB-C. Can, yeah, can we just agree to this for a couple years? Oh my god. If, if we everyone, get five years of one kind dude, of cord. If everyone can just be on USB-C so we don't have to fucking get how many fucking stupid cords. I'm so sick of buying iPhone oh specific chargers. I know. And I have so many USB-C chargers I'm now. I'm so sick of it. Also, I'm not like I know there's the charging stand. Yeah. They never work that well. If you never find a charging stand, I like there's, that much. There's one that I was using for my phone, and suddenly it stopped working. I was like, okay, I guess yeah. I don't know what happened here. Um. All right, it is 121. Great. Should we do this thing? Let's do it. All right. Kendall, we're ready. Christian, I think it's time to start the feed. Back feed. Back feed. <laughs> it's time to start the back feed. Back feed. Yeah. We need, to, we need to download the, the intro that Foxy Grandpa made. <laughs> I wonder if this has audio for chat. I hope it does. I don't know. The intro? Yeah, or do they hear, it does. Or, That's or do they hear us speaking well? Yeah, I'm sure they also hear us. <laughs> well, that's part of the experience. You want to hear our dumb commentary. Guys, welcome to the back feed. We're welcome back again. Welcome to the back feed. We're back in, in and checking into the feed that is given to you daily. Mm -hmm. Let us freaking go. Let us correct. freaking go. <laughs> um, oh, and we've been raided. Thank you to Cassim for uh, the raid. Cassim, thank you for the raid. What a hero. Gina, darling, in chat. Love Gina. you, Gina. Gina heads in chat. And the literal Gina in chat. And the literal Gina. The literal actual the Gina. The literal actual Gina in chat. Gina, we miss you. Uh, this is huge. If you want to come by this Friday, Oh please my god, do. yeah. Uh, party happening on Friday. We uh, Everyone's invited. Yeah. Um, 
I can't share the address in chat. 800 okay. viewers already, courtesy of Kasim's Raid. Thank you Kasim's so much. Rave. Huge. Huge. Let us freaking go, guys. guys. It's Fentanyl Wednesday. It's Fentanyl <laughs> Wednesday. We've got so many fentanyl stories. We really kind of do. For some goddamn reason. It uh, doesn't stop either. It's like, oh man, it seems like it's an actual problem uh -huh. that people have it like that hasn't been solved yet. Drugs, drugs still a problem. Still a problem. Fentanyl still a problem. Somehow we can't stop drugs from being Dude. a problem. Oh my god. But you know what our top story of the day is, Fee? Mm. Gamers racist? Question Gamers mark? racist? Question mark? Is this news? Is, is this news? On New York Post? Uh, New York Post, the nation's most trustworthy post. So what? what what's the title? So, people who identify as gamers are more likely to be racist and sexist. sexist. Study. Interesting. <laughs> this is a study. Also, any time the sorry. news is, is based I'm on... sorry. I saw something crazy on the side here. Happy end. Gay couple post tragic photos before jumping to their death. <laughs> Jesus. What is this? Oh, this is the gamers are racist one. This is the gamers are racist. This is another classic. A study comes out and you get a good headline out of it. Um, there's an ad on the side that is for oh, that is I will open up. Is this an ad, up. or is it another story on the so. NY Post? It is. Well, we'll, we'll go cover this story next. Oh my god! Honestly, I doubt there is much to this gamers are racist story other than a study suggests that gamers are racist. Okay, um, a new study reveals that people who identify as gamers are more likely to exhibit extreme behaviors such as racism and sexism. Now, when they say identified, is it just that they're like? They call themselves gamers. Yeah, how do you how do you know if these are real gamers? Yeah, the classic or, question. Or do they just say, "Yeah, we're gamers"? Like, what if these are just booth babes pretending to be gamers? Booth babes. What if it's just racist booth babes well, from I E3 just, 2011? So is it, okay, if, uh, what's the study here? Because I want to know: Is it people who literally just like, "Yeah, I'm a gamer," so they're most more likely to be racist and sexist? I think it's self-identifying. Oh, it says oh. people who identify as. It's here. Gamers. It says it here. When the gamer identity is core to who you are as a person, that seems to reflect what we all call toxic gamer culture. To yeah, actually, I think maybe I agree with this. I don't know enough gamers to have. I mean, I, sorry, I work for G4, so obviously yeah, I know all the yeah, real yeah, gamers. Yeah. But like people who fully identify as a gamer, like I don't know that many people who like lead with that. I think the there were people, some at G four for sure. I think the people who are like, dude, their like if their identity as a gamer is to their core, they're a lot more gatekeepy. Yeah, that is true. Once you identify as a thing, you like yeah. build kind of a wall around and what you, you think it is. And you build a wall, and you're like, you won't allow people to also be that because yeah. you feel like, like dead. Uh... Wait, Dariusuke says, uh, gamer ubiquitous in a vague term. Yes, exactly. It is. I think it's like you could call yourself a gamer, but if that literally is the thing that like is making you, you literally identify as a gamer. Yeah. Colden says, I'm a gamer, can confirm, I'm total piece of shit. I'm total piece of shit, and yeah. that's valid. Thank you so much for bringing yeah. that up. If you identify as a total piece of shit. Then fine. Then like, that's you gotta fine. do what you, what's you. You gotta do what, you, what works for you. Mm -hmm. I think um, I I can see both sides to this, and I don't want to say all gamers are racist and sexist and misogynistic and all this thing. But what I will say is that Entity, thank you for the five reason, gifted subs. Oh, thank you for the subs. Yeah. Entity, what I will say is in the gaming industry, there's a lot of that. Yeah. So. One plus one equals two. I also feel like America is trying trying to constantly like shove their racism off on a particular group. Yeah, like, that's it true. Might be all it of might us, also <laughs> just be America. Yeah, it might just be general. an America thing. Because I don't, I, I don't know. Maybe like. I don't know. Well, we'll or just it. a global thing. I don't Maybe know. a global thing. Because yeah. I'm thinking about like a gamer in like France. And I'm <laughs> the like, French gamer is notoriously sexist. woke. They're probably, uh, sexist, no, yeah. they're probably the worst too. <laughs> so I don't think it's just an America thing. Let's see if they have any point though. How do they prove this? Um, in 2019, it was revealed by the Anti-Defamation League that one in ten young gamers between the ages of 13 and 17 had been exposed to white exposed to white supremacist ideology. But that's crazy. Everybody's been Everyone exposed. Everyone is. Uh, every day, I'm yeah. I'm exposed to. If that. you've ever watched HDTV, you've yeah. been exposed to white supremacist <laughs> yeah. ideology. All those smiling white couples re yeah. renovating houses. But <laughs> this is this is facts, though. According to ADL research, far right ex that extremists. Is true. How do you? A far right say? extremist use extremists gaming use communities. gaming communities as a hunting ground. That would make sense. I fully believe that. I do believe, and I also believe it's because it's like a Reddit, Discord. These platforms do tend to let a lot of like 
these dangerous people say what they have to say without any repercussion. So I do think that it is like a breeding ground. People like, or like 4chan and shit like that. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I mean... Like, 4chan was... what. Wasn't 4 like, built from, like, gamers? Yeah, yeah. I mean, more or, or less. Like, yeah. it's like that internet culture thing. It's like, always gaming is somewhere in yeah. that zeitgeist. Because it's a thing you can do online with friends. Yeah, psycho, yeah. I have a, yeah, it, it, Reddit is much more civilized than 4chan, 100%. Mm-hmm. But I do think that these platforms breed these types of people where they can literally... The hacker known as 4chan. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that dangerous hacker, 4chan. And <laughs> it just feels like they can literally... They can literally glom on something and they, there's no repercussions for what they say i mean you know even working at g4 i wasn't aware how big of like a reactionary gamer youtube there was but there's literally oh, yeah. people their channels are just like they post any nerd thing and like it, it went woke and now yeah. it's ruined and that's all their content yeah. everything is like why isn't uh, gina carano back in this right, right, right. dave Chappelle owns trans rights <laughs> activists it's right like, it is a bit i don't know <laughs> I think they I think they breed I think some platforms specifically breed these types of people because there there's no consequences for what they say. Well, I think the YouTube algorithm just to fucking shout out YouTube yeah. really doesn't do the greatest job of pushing non-reactionary content. Oh, forward. Well, well that's the whole that's like, the, it's incentivizing. They know, yeah, they're like if you can react to something, mm-hmm. you're number 1 baby. Yeah. And if YouTube. your reaction is extreme all the better. Yeah. If, if you have like, the most extreme reaction yeah. and the most probably controversial yeah. reaction, yeah. then YouTube's like number 1 yeah. baby. Why gay Boba Fett is coming for your children? Dude. <laughs> Honestly, uh, in the worst case scenario, gamers may be lured into embracing extremist beliefs that lead them down the path to radicalization. The only uh, silver lining here is radical gamers, what are they going to do? Play video games. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Well, Most likely, until one of them goes fully crazy. Gamer rep- communities represent a double-edged sword. Uh, on, w- on the one hand, they may provide a sense of connection and purpose for individuals who suffer from loneliness and insecurity. On yeah. the other hand, they may expose gamers to hateful speech and social toxicity that can increase their sus- sus- oh my God, I can't pronounce susceptibility. That. susceptibility to extremist propaganda. Okay, fine. I think my... Um, even though I can totally see how this article could in many ways be accurate, yeah. I just... Like, growing up as someone who played a ton of video games, right. there was always that thing of, like, they do, they rot your mind, they're going to make you violent, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, yeah. Just, like, all the gamer stereotypes, which I don't think are true. I don't think they make you violent. I don't no. think the game itself is making you violent. I do think the community yeah. is encouraging some of that violent behavior. I think, like, the games themselves aren't the problem. People playing games isn't the problem. The, but no, yeah, I, I think I, it's some I think of the it's community the platform. Yeah. I think it's the platform. Yeah. And a lot of these gaming platforms do... They uh, they offhandedly promote these extremist views because there's no consequence for what you say. Like there's no no consequence for anything. Yeah, it's actually. an isolated social experience. Yeah. It, it's that leaves you open to just hating people that you don't know. Yeah, I don't know. If you've ever played Dota, <laughs> and, and, Dota? And, and, uh, ever played Dota and got done a public lobby, you just know the amount of hate that can spill out it's of just someone so when much they're hate. isolated I mean, by themselves. But it's also because, like, and I mean, I'm like playing like Overwatch, for instance, right? Yeah. It was like there was so much hate, right? But the thing is, like, there were no consequences for them. That's why they feel like they can just go into these live chat rooms and these live things and say whatever the fuck, yeah. because literally there is no consequence mm-hmm. for what they say. Because again. In America, this free speech, you know, free speech or whatever, you could say whatever you want. Yeah. Well, I mean, how are you supposed to regulate, like, thousands of you tiny can. lobbies of games simultaneously you at all times? Yeah, and it's a bit toxic. And people are just angry. Oh, they're, they're playing Overwatch for 12-plus hours. They're angry <laughs> they're losing. They've been on a lose streak of 20 games. Dude. They're going to lose their minds. Yeah, rage racism is real. Yeah, just, rage you... <laughs> racism is real. I've seen it, dude. Back, even back in the days of StarCraft One, when I was thirteen, people would get more racist the more yeah, they Yeah, like they got like like the moment they feel they're so mad that they can just say the N word. Yeah. It's like, why did you get to that point? Also, why do you feel the need to say that? Yeah, that's what's an, the point. I want to see that graph of like average white person how angry they have to get to say the N word. It's gonna and be also, way lower than you'd expect. And speaking for a about of like <laughs> speaking of like white people wanting to say the N word so bad, I think it's so funny because it's like it feels like there's something they they want to say the word so bad because they know they're not allowed to. 
Yeah. That's the only reason why they want to say it is oh. because they're like, it's not that they care about the word. It's not that they don't like they respect the word. They literally just want to say it because they're not allowed to. Or oh, like, for sure. People have told them to not say it. The mythical N word. So there's they something in like... them. There's something in them that just wants to burst out and say yeah. it, which I think is so funny. Like, what is wrong? Every white person is a werewolf. <laughs> there, <laughs> What's inside them is the N word. <laughs> inside a inside a gamer, yeah. there are two wolves. One community. Two wanting to say the N word. <laughs> community. N-word. And they're fighting. <laughs> yeah, they're fighting. Cut, they're constant constant constantly combat. fighting. Um, well, anyway, that's the take from the New York Post. Gamers possibly more racist, more sexist. I don't know. Something we can all feel in our hearts to be somewhat yeah. true. But also, I don't know, the New York Post telling us doesn't ever feel that good. Uh, this could come across communities depending on what kind of people that you're spending a lot of your time with. I don't think it necessarily it's necessarily about content, but about the community in which you're being immersed. Yeah, and that's, same point that's you just what's made. up. Yeah. New York Post agreed with you. And you yeah, didn't even know I didn't did. even know. Damn. Well, it's the community, bro. As we're both real gamers, we all strive to do better. Dude. I will stop looking at the full I moon. I can't get over the trauma caused by my deadbeat dad. These stories are absolutely unhinged. The stories on the side of this story are, are Yeah, are let's the go real to this next here. one because... Wait, where do you even see that? Oh, here. It said re-next. I can't get over the trauma caused by my deadbeat dad. This is the deadbeat dad? This is so... Right. Yeah. Do you want to see what this is? I mean, I guess. I just... It's so... Hot priest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is my headline. Can we click on that? Wait, okay, so we're, what should, should we, we go to Hot Pieces? Yeah, 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 yeah. So apparently, I mean, this is probably a sad story. But this is a sad story, but uh, we're bringing attention to it. Yeah, because it was on the sidebar. It was the on the post. sidebar, and it was updated. It was today at 8.38 a.m. Uh, gay couple post tragic photos before jumping to death in, in Armenia. Armenia. Happy, Happy end. end. I just, that, that headline is absolutely... Yeah, that is a wild headline. What a wild headline to write, Happy End. Um, a star-crossed young gay couple, couple jumped to their death from a bridge in Armenia after sharing a kiss in a final photo. What? Oh, no. For that, the two men had event, uh, from, okay, okay, happy end. We made the decision to get it, together to share photos and take, is this because, like, homosexual, yeah, there it is. Okay. I, I saw it. The, is there, like, is homosexuality not? Might be more of a problem in Armenia. Yeah, the couple posted pictures. Uh, one of these was said to have been 16 or 17 years old, while the other was a few years older. Um, local reports claim that T- Tigran and Arsene's parents did not approve of their relationship, and they had received death threats before their death. Oh, oh. Reported that was- oh no! When you listen, guys, this is all. Oh, yeah, the young the young man still had many years of life, but because of the intolerance towards them, they took such a tragic step. Damn. Are very familiar with the feeling of isolation. The tragic. So Armenia, okay, Armenia's gay rights organization also claimed that after the couple's Instagram post went viral, people have flooded their page with vile homophobic comments. Oh great! I did not know that Armenia ranks 47th out of 49 countries of Europe and Central Asia for LGBTQ rights, just yeah. ahead of Turkey and oh, I can't pronounce that. Um, um, oh, sorry, so they right. are. Homosexuality was only de- oh, criminalized in Armenia in 2003. Yeah. That is wild to think, like, when I was first, I don't know, paying attention to politics at all was around yeah. 2003. And, like, yeah. back then, all of your favorite politicians, your Joe Bidens, your Hillary Clintons, yeah, who yeah. I'm sure you all love, were completely against gay marriage and would publicly say so. Do you, you know and over that four-year span, like, going up to Obama is when yeah. they all started to trickle away from, like, openly homophobic, basically. Dude, you know what's so crazy? Like, sometimes I think about it, I'm like, there are places where I literally can't be gay. Absolutely. Like, and isn't that crazy? Like, I literally can't bring my girlfriend... I mean, girlfriend. well, you will be, but you will be literally a criminal yeah, for doing like, it. Yeah, like, there's, there's literally places where I can't bring... I cannot hold my hand with my girlfriend... In place, like I think that's so. It's so like here at least. I feel so free to do whatever. Yeah. To be whoever. I'm like make jokes about my sexuality. I feel mm-hmm. so comfortable here. But there are literal places where I cannot bring my girlfriend. Yeah. And Texas is one of them where I literally, I, I from Austin, we did a road trip to San Santa Fe, New Mexico. And I mean, you know, once you leave 30 minutes out of Austin, you're in Texas. Yeah. And so. 
the the eleven hour ride in Texas and then the two hour ride in just like New Mexico. Uh, that was the scariest road trip I've mm -hmm. done in my life because I'm literally just, you know, I have short hair. I'm wearing like my Adidas tracksuit. I look like a lesbian. <laughs> and I was just like, damn, I don't think I'm welcome here, yeah. which is so crazy because I've never felt that way in my, like, I, like in general, mm -hmm. that hasn't been a thing where I'm like, I'm like, I've lived in New York. I lived in California. I lived in places where it was like, okay, but yeah. there are places where it's, this is not okay. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm from Virginia. Yeah. I honestly, it got a lot better in Virginia. The the tolerance, like among my own friend groups, got yeah. a lot better around the 2000s. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It started. People started to not be like their minds were no longer blown if someone was gay. Right. But like there was, I went to a tiny high school. There was one openly gay person in my high school, and even in my tiny ass high school, like yeah. in 2003. Like, that kid had to put up with so much bullshit. Oh, my constantly. God. I can't... Oh, but it's just so... I think it, it's, it's not something I think about because I'm luck... Luckily, I live in places where, you know, it's super accepting. But, oh, my God, the fact that I literally can't bring my girlfriend... To, yeah. I cannot bring my girlfriend to places. Yeah. That's crazy to me. Yeah. But I mean, like, going... Being from, like, Chicago and then coming to L.A., yeah. I, we, I get, like, a... We all get a very myopic version right. of, like, the American the experience. The literal... Yeah. Yes, 100%. I just think that's so wild. Uh, not to totally change gears, but question, have you heard Jack Harlow is hosting and performing on SNL? Is he really? I have not performed that. Hosting? Heard that. Hosting? If he's performing, fine. Hosting? Whoa, he's going to do all sorts of, he's going to do all the classic sketches, but as Jack, Jack Harlow. Oh, do Yo, you, what's up, girl? I'm a wild, crazy guy. You know, you know yeah, right. <laughs> you know what else I saw? Oh, shit, I, I got a cone on my head, girl. God damn. You know what else I saw? Before you leave, check this out. How do I get to this? Go down? Keep scrolling down? What? I don't know. What are you looking for? It's just this article. Oh. The Nine News Yahoo, I guess. Um, what He's was double I duty. Say? It. Isn't there like some sundown towns that still exist in America? Probably. Should I, I think there are. I saw, I saw something about it where I was like, wait a minute, what? Sundown towns by yeah. state. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, like there couldn't be le like legally. I think there's still. Are there? I think there's still like, or maybe the law is very vague where it's like. Sunnow Town is not just a place where something racist happened. It's an entire community that, for decades, was all white on purpose. On purpose does not require a formal ordinance. If, for example, a black family tried to move in and encountered considerable hostility and left, that would qualify the town as a sundown town. Yeah, so I mean, there definitely could still be. I guess they wouldn't necessarily I, have to have laws on the books. If there's no, race. like, I think the laws are very vague yeah. um, because of that. I mean, you know. Which is, again, I think is so wild to me. I do, I saw something on Twitter about it and I was like, wait a minute. I mean, there are certainly still neighborhoods in the US that are like close to 100%. That is white. so wild to me that that's still, it's like 2022 and it still exists. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Sorry to put the, the downer on you for being black and gay, but this is the reality <laughs> of the situation, yeah. is that there are literal states that I, sh I actually can't go to. Because, like, to fearing for my life still, which is kind <laughs> we of We immediately roll the state news header. <laughs> state news header. <laughs> and today in state news. I just think that's so wild yeah. that that's still a thing some of those states though and this is the reason to never learn them are states you don't you won't know right are states. i don't i won't know what they are and maybe that's a good maybe thing. they don't deserve maybe for you to know what they okay. are okay yeah <laughs> rw dub fiona is gay fiona is gay <laughs> dude i just think that's so wild chicago pd just refused to fire a cop with ties to the proud boys not surprising that is so not surprising yeah the chicago pd can you so, wait what was that last chat comment it said can you go to the bull testicle festival am i allowed there you're allowed at the bull if it's here is it here there's some in california okay california most places you can be openly gay fortunately yeah nameless school yeah texas is fine in the big city it's it's the rural counties yes yeah. like That's literally similar in virginia yeah Dude, Texas is way too big. Yeah, it is. I, I just think that's absolutely, oh my God. Too much Texas, guys. Slim it down. Carve it out to a couple I of was, states. I was, uh, I was talking to my girlfriend. She's from Ireland, so she's kind of, we're kind of on the same boat as we don't know a lot of the states here. Mm -hmm. So she was at, you know, I told her about Texas and how, like, you know, Austin's great, but we probably shouldn't be going anywhere other than Austin yeah. and, like, Houston or Dallas, right? Yeah. 
And she was like, why? What's like, what's wrong there? And I essentially explained to her, like, I don't think you understand. Texas is like scary. Like in the rural <laughs> counties, they're scary. And it's huge. It's like a big state to like drive. Like I, I essentially showed her the comparison. She was blown away. And then I also had to explain to her that they actually kind of think they're their own country because of that Lone Star. Oh, uh, yeah. Like the Lone Star. They think they're There's their own country. There's still secessionist movements yeah, in yeah, Texas. Yeah. And it's like, and she was like, wait, what? Also, Chet going kind of wild at the no, at the mention of having a girlfriend, Fiona, just so you know. What do you mean? They're like, Fiona has no, a girlfriend? No, I explained this, guys. <laughs> I talked to you about my Irish girlfriend, and that's why I say my T's differently yeah, now. Yeah, she did mention it. Isn't Ireland a conservative Catholic country? Yes, yes that's although, something that she's told me about, too. Weirdly, abortion, legal in Ireland. Oh, and, is it? And now in the United States, not legal in certain places. It's legal in Ireland? Abortion is legal in Ireland. No, I mean, she's told me that 100%. She's like, you, we, like, it, it's getting better, but, like, we probably shouldn't be going to Ireland. Like, she's, she's told me that, like, very Christian, very... Yeah. It's hyper-religious. Uh, it's hyper-religious. But different countries have different ways that they express their religiosity, so. Daedalus, her lucky yeah. charm! Hey. That's a good one. The tongue down my girlfriend's throat? Oh, it went by too fast, yeah. Oh, that's why people think, oh, okay, so someone End was saying. Marriage, Ireland's made huge strides. Yeah, that's what Oh, someone was saying that, um, asking if I was dating Minx, and I was like, why would I be dating Minx? Is she Irish? I think she's Irish, that's why you guys think it. Okay, some people were, like, asking me. And, or tagging me on Twitter. I'm like, yeah. no, no, no. I don't know why you think that. <laughs> okay, now I understand. No, it's a no, it's someone else. Minx, come on our stream. Clear yeah, this clear up. Clear this up. Come Give on, us more God. viewership. <laughs> Please, I'm begging. Uh, secret Chinese police stations. Sorry, I'm just hard changing the subject yeah, again. Uh, China accused of illegal police stations in the Netherlands. Netherlands. Uh-oh. What? Dude, the Netherlands are getting spied on so hard what? lately. What? The Chinese government has been accused of establishing at least two undeclared police stations in the Netherlands. Dutch media found evidence that the overseas service stations, which promised to provide diplomatic services, are being used to try to silence Chinese dissidents? Dissidents, yeah. In Europe? A spokeswoman for the Dutch Foreign Ministry said the existence of the unofficial police uh, outpost was illegal. But why would they have them in the first place? Are they like spying on like Chinese residents and? But like a police station isn't the best way to have a spy yeah, wait, operation. What? According to the organization, the public security bureaus of uh, from two Chinese provinces had established fifty four overseas police service stations across five continents and twenty one countries. Most of them are in Europe, including nine in Spain and four in Italy. The units were ostensibly created to tackle transitional crime and conduct administration duties, such as the renewal of Chinese driver's licenses. So I'm guessing, like, if you have, like, a Chinatown in right, your right, community, right. they would create their own internal oh, police force? what? According to the Safeguard Defenders, in reality, they carry out persuasion operations aimed at coercing those suspected of speaking out against the Chinese regime to return home. Yikes! <gasps> Um, speaking in English, Wing told Dutch journalists he received a phone call earlier this year from someone claiming to be from one such organization. During the conversation, he said he was urged to return to China to sort out my oh problems my God. and to think about my parents. Oh, it's rough when the, when the cops show up and tell you to think about your you parents. You think about your parents. They really, those are some low blows right there. Yeah. Oh. Huh. So these are like basically coercion outposts yeah. in Chinese communities that happen. They're to making you, they essentially want you to th th like to scare you i mean if that's the case there'd almost certainly be one of these in like a in any substantial I mean, Chinatown. they must be here i've they actually must... never been to los angeles's chinatown i mean either actually no i haven't yeah i've been to cape town but i haven't been to chinatown yeah i've been well, Town's huge. i've been to little tokyo here. little tokyo is very small kind of like went to little tokyo oh, yeah it was a good time what where what um th that's where the kura sushi is right yeah yeah, that's we went to the conveyor good. belt sushi place. Yeah, that's Kura, right? That's Kura, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that's so good. Um, it is very worrying. A Chinese national uh, has apparently been subjected to intimidation, says the Netherlands Police Department. Um, or so this is a spokesperson, sorry. Services such as passport renewals or visa requests are usually handled by an embassy. Yeah, diplomatical rules apply in these locations. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Damn. Um, Chinese foreign affairs spokesperson Wang Wenbin said on Sunday that had been described as police stations overseas are actually service stations for Chinese citizens abroad. I mean, whether it's a service station or a police department, I mean, if it's trying to coerce citizens, that's not That's not great. Right. Well, I, yeah, I guess you'd be coercing citizens of the Netherlands, technically. You're right. 
I mean, you know. That's wild. That's wild, but like doesn't shock me, but wild. It's also interesting, like when you have a neighborhood very specifically tied to another country mm -hmm. as like their sort of identity. Yeah. I can see how in some cases you would want services specific to your needs. Oh yeah, you no, like, you definitely need an embassy of some mm -hmm. sorts because that definitely helps. I know there's one in, in New York that I went to a lot for like French passport things. Yeah. And um, so you want an embassy. Yeah. But you don't need the French police there. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just thinking, like, you don't need the country's police there telling you, like, hey, what you're doing right here against the law in the, in, in the country you're from. So yeah. uh, my, my, you have to sort out some problems. Yeah. That's so wild. Uh, MSG says, go watch all the G4 stuff on YouTube. Word is it will be deleted soon. I have heard that rumor. I have no idea so if that's who, true. Yeah, I've been, I've been hearing that. Who's, who, where are you guys getting this information? I mean, because we where we want to know <laughs> where is everyone getting this information that G4 YouTubes are getting shut down? I heard it from some. No one at G4 would. No one who's who worked for no G4 has, has that me. has the ability to make that decision. <laughs> Gina, Gina <laughs> how where Gina. is where is Gina getting this information? Well, like post when we did all the post G4 hangouts, that rumor was going around everybody. Like, oh, it's going to be deleted in thirty days. I don't think it costs Comcast. Gina and Will, where are they getting, where are both of these Well, they people? might. I, honestly, I guess maybe Comcast would because it has low viewership numbers and they don't want that to be well, seen. Well, I also I heard they're, tr well, let me get paid on Friday. <laughs> well, like, well, it doesn't affect us either way. Do you think so? Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm literally, I don't know if this is true. It's literally just a rumor I've also heard on streams and stuff. Let me get paid on Friday. Um, I will say, though. I do have access still to every attack. They are pulling the, the beach house stuff already. Oh, wow. I don't have the beach house stuff. Right I will say I have access in a way that I can't, that they can't really get rid of. I have all the Attack of the Show episodes and I have all of our sketches. That's good. So, uh, you know, some Wait. people do still have access at least to all the Attack of the Show content. Wait, oh, they would write it as a tax write-off if they delete the YouTube VODs? What would be the tax write-off? I don't know. Because it's already hit linear, yeah. so I don't know if it can be a tax write-off, guys. Unless I'm maybe it can for giant conglomerate corporations. If you delete the vods off of YouTube, and they're not—it's not that they're paying; they're not paying anything on YouTube. I mean, it might literally be a public, like a PR thing. Like you know, they were not happy with our numbers very clearly. Um, I don't think that's controversial to say. So they might just not want like low viewership number content floating around out there. But you know. I would like to know where everyone's getting this information because as someone who has worked at G4, literally worked at G4, I know everyone who worked at G4. Why do you guys know this, but I don't? I, also, is, I don't know if all the Beach somewhere House, the Beach House playlist is still there. If the reason I don't know if this rumor is true is like, there's just no reason to take it down, in my opinion. Well, the only reason I could see is because it doesn't cost you anything to have it up. No, I think I can understand. There's one reason why I think they're going to scrub it. Yeah. And that one reason I do want to say after, just in case. And that reason is? The reason is... Will Neff, we're calling you out. Yeah, Will, Will Neff. Will <laughs> Neff. No, it's, I think there's another reason why they might be scrubbing it. But, like, I, I don't think it's a tax write-off situation. Oh, okay. What if they're just preparing for G4.3? Oh, yeah, maybe they're bringing it back, guys. They might be bringing it back. <laughs> they don't want to cross the wires. I, another thing I can say that I don't think it's, it would get us in any trouble is the way they had so many YouTube channels, I did always find confusing. Like, there was, there was Attack um, of the Show, X-Play, G4. Uh, from what I'm understanding, there were a mixed... Communi the, the communication in terms of the analytics was... I don't fucking know. Yeah. We had one guy who came in and like kind of streamlined everything. Oh, I think it's Josh. He yeah. came in and like streamlined everything. Mm -hmm. But I think there's like a, there was not a good communication between the stream analytics team or like the analytics team and then literally like the, the heads and yeah. like the and people, cr the, creative, the teams. creative teams. There's like, hey, why don't we do this simple thing? And then the analyst's like, well, it's not, it's not that simple because mm -hmm. of this. And it's like, well, we should just do it anyways, and it's like... So Apparently, it's like, no oh. context G4 also might have posted that the, the channels are getting scrubbed. And I don't know who that is or who where they get their info. Who is getting this info, guys? <laughs> Why but, do I not know about this? Although, it does kind of make me feel powerful to know that I have access to all of it. And, you do. And, you and have soon, everything. no one else will. You can, like, you can, like, 
black market it. Yeah, I can I can release those black market. I can tape trade the old yeah. G4 content. I got a rare Loop Chef vid to share. Everything should have been on one channel. I think it should have been Attack of the Show, X Black. I, well, I think it should have been just G4 TV Live and G4 TV VODs. So like, Ooh, that's a good one. So all of our live stuff, Kendall's giving me a look like that's the worst idea ever. G4 TV Live and G4 TV So it had all the streams in one? Because according to... VODs are the live. Well, well you might the not VODs were like edited down. Like we could have posted like clips and sketches, like sketches on one channel. Yeah. And then everything live, like all of our live YouTube streams would have gone on a separate I, I You see, so, and, 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 and I don't know shit, so please, Jesus Christ, I, t someone tell me I'm wrong. But I literally think it should have been Attack of the Show, X-Play. Or like each show should have had But there was, own. there were, I mean, at least the plan was, and there were a couple yeah. other shows. Because then it's like, well, then there's Name Your Price. And... Well, they should have had their own. That's why I, I think like. They should have had their own thing. Like, Name Your Price, Hey Donna felt like a different channel than G4. And then Attack of the Show, X-Play should have been separate. Yeah. Well, then maybe... Well, I, honestly, why am I even Actually, thinking Actually, I don't this? even fucking know. Yeah. Actually, I don't know the answer. Or like, Boosted. That is how, what they did, though. Like, there was an Attack of the Show, there was an X-Play, then there was G4 TV. I just think for a YouTube channel, that's Or maybe, confusing. I guess, no, I think you're right. Maybe it should have just been all G4. Probably if all of it had gotten big enough, then you would have wanted to spread them out. But because it was starting, they were trying to grow awareness of G4 even being back. I think having so many channels kind it was of too much. cannibalized what awareness should have just was. been G4. Anyways, we'll never see G4 again. <laughs> as usual, I am overthinking this just as I try to remove the part of my unless, brain. That unless about G4. we get, unless we can purchase the G4 IP from Comcast Spectacore. Yeah, give um, it to us. We Metacar will Sun. not see. I will, will give you this. Our, I'll give you my volume remote and my breakfast and burrito. And breakfast burrito. <laughs> if you have the money to purchase the IP for G4, if if literally a con another conglomerate could purchase the G4 TV. Yeah. Um, IP, mm -hmm. then we have a chance of bringing it back. And our pitch is to X Hamster. X Hamster. X Hamster has been. <laughs> X Hamster has been the most solid pitch yeah. <laughs> so far. All right. G four will come back in five years. I mean, honestly, never say never. You know, I I will, I will not be involved with it. I just think I it suspect, has. But... I just think it has too many negatives now that it's like you kind of have to let it die. But. I do think if someone were to buy it again, I mean, if someone were to buy it, like, now, it would be good. If it happens in, like, five years, I don't think it's going to be Like, the anymore. XFL came back. Yeah. Like, and then it died again. And apparently, <laughs> apparently, I think The Rock bought the rights to the XFL to then make, like, a series about the XFL. So I can see someone buying the G4 IP. To make, to, like, a docu, a docu maybe, series. But I do, if, like, if someone were to purchase, if there was a company out there that purchased the G4 TV thing, the G4 TV IP right now, that PR-wise and everything would be oh, It's just, yeah. if anything has any brand awareness existent, someone will still buy it, is yeah. the crazy reality of the modern right. media landscape. It's like, I don't know. Like, Maya the Bee will probably come back yeah. eventually, just because enough people know what Maya the Bee is, even though that was, like, a children's show from 1993 that only a few people still How remember. much is it to purchase the IP? I don't fucking know. I bet it would be more than you would think. It's good. Opens a policy. Isn't Chris Gore working on a G4 documentary? Who's Chris Gore? He was on the original G4. I will say this. I don't know Chris Gore, but he did not get the buy-in from a lot of G4 people about that documentary. Which documentary? Uh, he may... Oh, oh, is it the one that Kevin... Uh, oh, oh, yeah, Well, I don't want to yeah. speak for anybody. I just know, like... I don't know. Oh, I oh no. Yes, wasn't that? Yeah, he's like using footage without like anyone's permission. I feel like he got some interviews under false pretenses and might have been a little creepy in how he uh, handled the making of that I don't documentary. Know who that is. I don't, I don't know enough about it, but I don't know. He hangs out. I'll just say this: he hangs out with some people that I disagree with. Oh, really? With. I, yeah. I did. I don't know who this is. <laughs> uh, let's crowd it. How much does G four cost? Fifty bucks. Yeah. I'm just. I don't know, guys. I hope it's fifty. If it's fifty, I'll buy it. Amazon? No, not Amazon. Guys, what's I'm... a big? What's a big conglomerate that seems okay? Honestly, none, none of, of them. them. You're <laughs> right. You're right. None, none of them. Of them. Um, what's like a smaller streaming service? Uh, I'm gonna Google small streaming service, like one of the ones that like. Well, like a Roku. Yeah. <laughs> well, Roku. Like a Roku big. TV. I if think... a Roku TV could purchase 
Um, let's get bought out by uh, Crave. What's Crave? <laughs> it's a Canadian. It's no, only we can't. Canada. G4 is back in Canada. Shutter. Shutter. Yeah, no. Shutter. BET Plus. Okay, okay. that's not bad. That BET would be pretty cool. not bad. BET oh, we Plus. need like Tyler Perry to purchase G4. Oh my or, like, God, that Monkey is Paul. amazing. We need like a Monkey Power Tyler Perry to purchase. Tyler Perry's G4 TV. I, you probably won't want to hire me again, but if you would, please. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> Purchasing G4 Tyler TV. Tyler Perry presents G4 TV. That would be fucking amazing. <laughs> that would be so funny. Medea's family uh, gamer convention. Medea's family E3. That would be E3. so good. Oh, that would be so good. Tubi. Medea goes to Gamergate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. That would be so funny. Um, okay. okay. We're moving on. We're moving on. From G4 news to equally important news. People are sharing the funniest off-brand Halloween costumes they found this okay. year. And here are 40, 40 of, the, of the worst ones. So I'm gonna, we're going to have to limit our reactions okay, here. Okay, cool. Will we make it through all 40? I doubt it. I don't know. Halloween, Halloween. Karen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is not the best Karen costume. No, it's not. But also, it's like, it's the bump it that's so funny to me. Oh, I, what is happening? Oh, How no. did you get rid of this? I don't know. What the fuck? Uh, what the fuck? I guess just drag it over. Yeah, okay. okay we'll yeah. go a little wider screen for this one. Okay. Here's an issue I'm going to have with a lot of these. Yeah. They hire models for every costume. Yes. They should have a more Karen-looking model. Yeah. But instead, they get, like they only hire well, the I one model. Well, I think they model. have like that. Yeah, they use only one model, right? Oh, yeah, they just yeah. cycle them through a they bunch of costumes. They cycle them through, yeah. It's quick, easy, fast. But, you know, get somebody in their 40s to, to, I, to be I, in the Karen costume. Is the name costume. really Karen? That is so funny. This is just a, such a shitty Karen That costume. is such a shitty... But it should it's come so with, funny. like, a muumuu or, like, I a really think, flattering is shirt. It, is, the, is the costume Karen or is it a wig? It's just the wig and glasses. I'm pretty uh, sure. Okay. Also, you can pop out chat, right? Is that a thing I can do? Uh, yes. Uh, pop out chat. Yeah, there we go. Hell that yeah. That way we can keep it up I'll while keep we... Uh, look at this story. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. Um... Sorry, we're back on this. Okay. All right, up next, we got the plastic man. What? Jesus. The plastic that, man? It's Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> that is so, that is so wild. Wow. Wow. Someone, I might have to buy this. Rubies. I would have to, maybe I'll put plastic Famous man Famous right faces, plastic man. Soft and thin vinyl mask. Could they mask. not have put like pop star or like Dude, pop singer? Soft and thin vinyl mask is such a poetic description of Michael Jackson's looks. Dude, <laughs> Plastic Man is unreal. Wow, the rude dude himself. Okay, Missing Boy. Missing Boy! <laughs> this is such a creepy name for a Waldo costume. <laughs> And it doesn't Wait. have the glasses. Oh, the poses are so wild. Look at the pose. Includes hat, shirt, shirt pants. pants. <laughs> what? What company is this? I don't know. Does it tell I'm us? trying to. I'm trying to see. Also, wow, they are really needs filling... glasses. Someone wrote needs, needs glasses. glasses. They're correct. A classy look is okay. I'm not, I'm not reading yeah. the story here. Unusual events. Number four. Oh my God! It's ten from unusual events. Is that ten or eleven? Well, eleven is the actual. Oh, okay. It's They're 10, saying this yeah. is ten. Also, what a tear! It's just a wig. It's just a wig. That's it's a, a bad it's a, it's wig. It's adults' wig. Also, the eleven look would be a bald cap, right? right? But I think no. Well, she gets hair yeah, after. She gets, she gets hair. Yeah, yeah, but the iconic look is the, the bald well, the child, bald, right? Yeah, 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 fair. Is this an iconic enough look? But also, is this eleven, or is this, or is this fucking what's the guy's the name? Guy? Is it the guy? The oh, guy? Does he get hair that long? Finn Wolfhard. Who's that? The, yeah, yeah. That's thirteen. Thirteen. What's his name? I keep for, I'm forgetting all of their names. Well, that's 13 or 11 or the guy. Karen costume, serial Yeah, masochist. this is just the Karen costume again. A kind Girl of girl's fantasy. fantasy. World War II evacuee. What? what? No. Oh, this is, is six real? pounds. This is in uh, England. World this War II evacuee. Real. If this is photoshopped, good job on the photoshop because you you warp the words just right to make them look I mean, pretty real. I mean, that's what, so wild. If it's not a World War II evacuee, what else would it be? I don't know. It like looks Girl like Scout? a Scout. A Girl Scout, I guess. It's not very Girl Scout. What Scouty. is this tag? Anne Frank. Anne, oh no. <laughs> Michael Myers' sister Karen. Oh no. Baby Karen, yeah. Oh man, that's tasteless. I the like ultimate fantasy is to survive the bombing of London. Oh my god. 
Evil midweek. Evil midweek cutie. cutie. It's Wednesday Adams. Is this Evil Midweek Cutie? Is this a effect of the way they they shot this photo, or is that actually the size of her legs? No, I don't know. I think it's the way they <laughs> shot this photo. I think the angle's weird. Because if they scrunched it down. <laughs> midweek. I like, I like the way they titled it. Her name's Wednesday, and they're like midweek. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even put oh, that yeah. together. Oh, that's what I said. It's Wednesday dumb. Adams. It's yeah. evil midweek cutie. cutie. <laughs> well, that should be the, that's the, gonna be the uh, whatever. Why add the cutie part? Yeah. <laughs> Who's Trans doing? Trans boy? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> So this is, I'm guessing, supposed to be Transformer Boy. <laughs> but it's Trans Boy. Guys, yeah, good news, it includes suit and mask. Oh, oh this is yeah. amazing. This is they, a... they wild for this one. The Mars <laughs> Hall said that's wild. Finally, trans some trans boy. representation at, the, at your Guys, local costume store. I know we have 40 of these, but every single one of them is going to be good. Yeah. I'm so excited. Dave Chappelle has very complicated feelings about this costume. Trans boy <laughs> this that's not gonna go well pickle rick, pickle rick is commenting on all of these uh, a lad a lad in a <laughs> costume there's no way could that be they real just have this white guy that's so good a lad in, in a, a costume a guys be careful wearing this costume if you look like this oh, guy oh my god that's a 10 <laughs> That and trans boys are tense. Trans boy, I mean, I'm tempted to buy the trans boy the costume. Trans I will boy not fit in it. Absolutely unreal, but a lad in a costume and a white man wearing like. Guys, I loved working for G4 TV. I might like titling these costumes even more if if, if they want to hit me also, up. Whoever is. Uh... It has pride sleeves. <laughs> Yeah, Aladdin is a isn't copyrighted. That's a name. Well, I guess it's more so like Aladdin, and then they're wearing similar outfits. I think is going to be the copyright issue. Yeah. This is ten. Guys, this Arabian is 10. Nights, like Arabian. Lad days. not included. <laughs> Friendo, Friendo Blaggins, Boy of the Rings. <laughs> this has to be fake, right? Boy of the Rings is so funny. Includes cape, dicky, pants. You gotta get that. You gotta okay. get that. Boy of the Rings. Say, Dickie. I'm gonna say this is a. This is an eight. This is an eight. This is an eight. It's twenty dollars. It's twenty dollars. That seems a little expensive for a knockoff That's Halloween so costume. That's so wild. I, I would mean, guess ten. I guess it includes a lot of parts. It does. You have a cape, dicky, and pants. Fun Kiwi. All right, just real quick. I, I gotta look up the Fun Kiwi website and see if any of these are real. Fun Kiwi costumes. Yeah. Not to delay this. There are forty of these to get through. Yeah. No, but um, muscle, muscle bat, bat hero. hero. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. Yeah. We'll pull this up at the end, maybe. But these could be real, actually. Look. Troopers for Hooters. They have troopers. This is is this Hooters? Guy. It's like oh, a okay. guy costume. Also, the classic costume doctor. We'll check in on okay, this. Okay, we have to check in on this. We'll check okay. in on this. Now you two can be the governor of Tasteville. Governor oh, of Tasteville. This looks fake to me, right? He looks photoshopped on there. A little bit. This might be real, though. This could still be real. I don't know. But no, it does actually, look, no, it does look fake. This one, of the ones we've this seen, one looks, looks fake. This fakest. is fake. He just looks very slapped on there. Yeah, 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 this is fake. But I do appreciate, if it is fake, how little work they put they into making this fake. They put little work. They did not add any warp to this. No, they didn't. Boom. But they did add a little warp to Governor of Tasteville. Governor of Tasteville. Yeah, uh, this one. I yeah, this one's fake. fake. Putin! Oh! oh! <laughs> Whoa! Wait a minute, but they just use his name? They can just do that? I mean, maybe if you just make enough of them, they can't catch you in time. <laughs> if what? you just mass produce enough Putin. Man. This is dangerously close, though, to the Michael Jackson. Yeah, this is, this is terrible. Plastic Man. Plastic Man. Plastic Man got a little warped at the beach, spent a day in the hot sun. Plastic Man is so wild. Who's What's he going to do? Who's going to sue? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, exclusively sold in the Ukraine. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing. Oh, whoa, we're getting sexy. Who was sexy. that? This Wizard is. Wanda. Wizard Wanda. Do you guys? Who's the uh, Who's the, the actor from Mean Girls? Whose name? Actress. Uh, uh, Hillary, not Hillary Duff. No. Uh, wait, which one? Regina. Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan. Yeah. Lindsay Lohan's the main one. 
Yeah, Lindsay. If anybody remembers the episode of SNL where Lindsay Lohan hosted and she did the uh, Harry Potter sketch, oh, I don't remember that. That's basically this. this is that it. is burned into my brain. Dude, Lindsay, is Lohan. The Lindsay Lohan Hermione. You can Google it if you want. It was quite a look. This is basically Lindsay Lohan's Hermione. Great. Wizard Wanda. Okay. Great. Great. I give that one a look. That, that was a little bit. That was a little bit. Potter teacher wizard boy. Potter teacher wizard. <laughs> The name on this one is a lot stronger it's than Wizard Wanda. It's too much. They, it's like too many things. <laughs> Somebody says that episode is problematic. I can't remember. Uh, no. Potter Teacher Wizard Boy. Potter Teacher Wizard Boy. <laughs> okay, so wait. He teaches Harry Potter. He. This is a wizard boy? What is... <laughs> but also Potter Teacher Wizard Boy is great. Like, I, this is clearly an adult. He's got a huge so bushy wild. white beard. Potter Teacher. Potter Teacher Wizard Boy. Huh. I don't know what they're getting at. I mean, I know what they're getting at. I, know, I also don't like know what they're they getting at. They just put words together. This is very word salad. Is boy just the size? It should be Potter teacher wizard. Because there's no boy in this. <laughs> yeah, there, why the boy? I don't know the It boy. could be Potter boy teacher wizard. Also, why is his eyes so creepy in there? It does look like they photoshopped in like a gnome face. Yeah, yeah. It looks like his hand is weirdly fake. Yeah. Like, like what are they? What is this? What is this? It includes the robe belted hat, so it doesn't what? include the beard. What is this, guys? Why don't you get exactly uh, fight naked music? Yeah, why, yeah, don't yeah. Yeah, why don't you get a beard? Why don't you get a beard? It's a teacher wizard costume yeah, where for boys. Yeah, where's the nose? All right, we're moving on. We're too confused. Dark angel. Dark oh, angel. but angel is misspelled. Dark angle contains dress, halo, wings. Well, this one That's gets a you lot. a lot. It gets you four items. Also, though, if you're going for the classic Dark Angels TV show costume, you're going to be sorely disappointed. This character was not in no, that show. No, angle, Dark Angle is wild. Uh, white anybody? Clam Seltzer. Wow. This for White pretty Claw. Good. From Spirit, appropriately named. White, white Clam, Clam Seltzer. Seltzer. So why would you want to... Go Natural like slime. Ooh, this is from the Tough Daddy. Uh, oh school yeah, of a salty sea beverage. Oh. Spiked seawater. So I was checking in. Okay. Great. Um, we're gonna start going through these. Okay. Which Hunter Gary? <laughs> but then they used Henry Cavill. This one. This one. I I also suspect shenanigans again. These could all be fake. Oh, okay. But surely they're not that bold. You could pull any DRM free image of a is wizard. Is this not guy. Henry, Henry Henry Cavill? No, that's just fully that's pulled just... from the show. That's. Fully. So just at this point, just write The Witcher. Yeah. Why would you write Witch Hunter Gary? Because I guess you're just having fun. Is that Kevin? Yeah, that's oh, Kevin Pereira. That is Kevin. That's his Halloween costume. Oh my god. Uh, bat oh hero. god, Bat Hero. That's a good one. Dude, this is giving me those dude, classic Bat Boy vibes. Dude, what? Do you remember Bat Boy from like, I think it was 2010-ish area when that kid was dying of cancer and his make-a-wish was to be Batman and like the whole city came out. No, I did not. That might have been before your time. That, that might, I mean, if it was 2010, I was alive, but I guess I just wasn't. Well, anyway, he's back and now he's Bat Hero. He's Bat Hero. I'd yeah. rather be Witch Hunter Gary. Yes, me too. Cat, cat suit. Oh, I thought I said cat shit. Includes one cat, wait, cat suit. But it's one Harley cat. Quinn? I thought I said cat shit. That's what I thought too. Did oh, it, it does look like cat, cat shit? shit? It looks a little like cat shit. So it says totally read this wrong. So they also read cat shit. Oh, they also read cat shit. Okay. Oh, okay. But it's also confusing that it's cat suit, also, but it's Harley Quinn. Also, Undergirl? From the classic brand Undergirl. Batman times Undergirl cat equals suit. cat suit. Featuring knockoff Harley Quinn. There it is. Okay. Cool. It got 75 points. <laughs> no thanks, someone wrote. It's not Pickle Rick. I'm glad that all these have one comment. I like the one comment. There is a bunch of stuff like this in my local costume. Messy Mystery Man is very funny. It's from Shaggy. Oh, it's Shaggy. It's Shaggy. Guys, I used to have a natural Shaggy cosplay you when have, I put on that green yeah, yeah, yeah. shirt I have. It was the green shirt and then the khakis. And I just kind of look like Shaggy yeah, IRL. Yeah, it's so good. But now that I'm blonde, guys, can't do it. Can't do it anymore. Sidekick Louisa. <laughs> So wait a minute, guys. Louisa. So they're allowed. So this is this is copyright. This is like Super Mario is making money off of this because it's Luigi. Uses Sidekick Louisa, not copyright. Sidekick, but Louisa. also an original character. An original. I, character. I don't remember Sidekick Louisa no, from the you games. Don't. Also, Sidekick Louisa. Okay. Sidekick Louisa can sidekick me. Yeah, she can Anytime. sidekick it. Damn. Damn. Okay, Tiger, Tiger Daddy, Daddy Kit. Kit. Huh. Uh, 
It says I, the tiger, tiger daddy, daddy hat. Is so wild. I mean, I, I kind of want that tiger daddy hat. Now. It does kind of look good. I like anything that says daddy on uh -huh. it, like like merch. This could be Fiona's uh, Christmas present yeah, for daddy me. Yeah, daddy or tiger mommy daddy is great. hat. Yeah. Assuming this is real, which it probably is. Tiger daddy kit. It's an adult fuck? standard. Little, Little factory, factory worker. worker. At least they're being honest with it. What Child is that? labor. Yeah. What, wait. What is? This? Is this it's an Charlie? Oompa Loompa? Oompa Loompa. Okay, got it. Oh my god. Jeez, this is terrible. When it really is a little child with an orange face, it, it's it, terrifying. It, it makes you more aware of the evil that yeah, Willy Wonka yeah. is truly up to. That's he had an weird. army of little factory workers, and he called them Oompa Loompas. Oompa Loompas. He claimed they were little people, but I think they were maybe just little children. Presidential it, piggyback. This is just an odd. What? So this is that trend of costumes where you have like the fake yeah, legs. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this is an odd what choice. What an odd one. MAGA, dude. Make America. Make America piggyback. Make MAPA. Make, Mappa. make America piggyback. Make America. <laughs> the MAPA movement. The MAPA movement. Look at that face. Ooh, also. Classic man. This is getting a little close to a glory hole with that, that Oh, action. yeah, that is open wide. This is a sex act I do not want to witness. No, is anyone hooking up that. That through this Donald Trump That is one thing Trump I ass. don't want to see. This is someone's fantasy, but oh, I don't want to meet truly, the person whose fantasy it is. Truly awful. Uh, fade in, fade out, desert dweller. The the naming on these, I gotta give it up. I could not conceptualize some of these names if I tried. Fade in, fade, fade out, out, desert, desert dweller. dweller. Could they not just have written desert dweller? Why is fade in, fade out? Maybe fade in, fade out is what makes it original IP. Desert dweller can't. What are these? Uh, that's not related to, they didn't, this character doesn't fade in and fade out. They don't. I'm pretty sure they're not, you know, astral. These names are generated by AI, probably. I guess, but then at some point someone has to read this, print it out, fade put it in the in, packaging. Fade out. Includes dweller. robe, hood, fading eye. Okay, maybe that's oh, why. Oh, is that it? Maybe the eyes, eyes fade, fade in and out. But is that even something you want? You want the eyes, I think, to be more permanent, right? <sighs> Okay. I don't know what this is. We're losing feet. <laughs> We're losing feet. Oh! Uh-oh! 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 Oh, Whoa! Of course it's in euros. It is in of euros. Of course. Afro wig. Oh, man. They I did mean, not have to go this far with the... They didn't have to, but... Oops. Oh! Uh, Can I be frank with you is gifting 10 subs. Thank you, Kel. Oh, Sorry that you gifted them as we're looking at this black blackface. Black face, <laughs> full black face. What is with the with the facial afro. poses? Like, Truly awful. What is this girl so yeah. excited about? <laughs> is she that excited to be in blackface? If you're in blackface, don't make this face. I mean, don't yeah, be in blackface, no, no, but also, also don't, don't make don't this, don't face. this face. And also, and also, it's just so European. Like, this does it's look so very European. European. They don't. They're like they're so okay with blackface. They're like, over what? There. That's your guys' hang yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's your fucking That's problem. That's kind of your fucking That's problem. That's your problem. As for us? I'm being funny, okay? Yeah. This is obviously hilarious. Yeah. I, I bought my Afro wig. It's, it's like so... Oh my How God. are people supposed to know what's an Afro wig if I don't do yeah, full black blackface? Face. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Web slinger boy. Also in blackface under this. Blackface is under there. I don't, under there. <laughs> don't make no mistake. He's in blackface. If you can't see the face in any of these, they're yeah, just in resting yeah. blackface. Oh my God. All right, web slinger boy. What does this come with? Jumpsuit mask. Jumpsuit mask. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty, Naughty Cat's Friend 2. <laughs> the sequel to Naughty Cat's Friend. I hope there's a Naughty Cat's Friend 1. Naughty Cat's Friend 2. But they, he's putting up the 1. And they did not take more than one picture of this guy. They're like, we're going to that. Look at his face. He's just doing this. Naughty Cat's Friends 2. Why is he holding up a 1? I don't know. I, obviously, this is like, they can edit the 1 and 2. That's a porn parody for sure. All of these do feel like porn Why parodies. Why is he holding up a 1? Everybody, Jigsaw Puzzle, same question as same us. Same question. But can it, Blonde, blonde God Godwin. Wig. Look at this is guy. Is that supposed to be a Creed thing? I don't know, but look at his guy. And also, it's like Thor, right? Also, good news. It's similar to human hair. Similar to human hair. Oh, my God. What a claim. Of course. Dude, this guy's forehead's massive. That's like kind of like overly sexy Macaulay Culkin right there. Yeah, kind of. Rehab. Sexy oh, my quotes. God. Oh, no. What are they going to name this? Rehab, Rehab wig. wig Brown. That's oh, just, uh, granted, that is one of her God. songs. That is one of her songs, but, but also, we know that's not what you Jesus mean. Jesus Christ. 
Also, why is this like Roxanne style yeah, look? Jesus. I don't know. Oh, All right, no. we're moving on. Oh no. Surgeon, Surgeon short, short pants. pants. We right know 911. Again, we're getting the leg effect on however they're shooting. Yeah, these it's things. because they're shooting it from above, so it makes their legs look. Adult. Shirt, shorts, belt, sunglasses. I thought it said bulge. Yeah, bulge. Comes with the bulge. Comes with oh, the Austin Show go. style bulge. Here we go. Sponge baby short plush adult oh, mascot, mascot funny, funny costume. A hundred and eighty dollars. Oh my god. Sponge baby Fuck. short plush. I do want this though. Dude, same. I don't want it for $180, no, but I, I do, do want, want this. Like, imagine we roll up to our Halloween <laughs> no. party. Where and people are like, who are you? I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm Sponge Baby, Baby Short Plush Adult, adult Mascot Funny, funny Costume. costume. <laughs> Y'all are still playing oh with that, God, that yeah, Baby SpongeBob yeah, yeah, shit? Baby Spongebob, nah. nah. Sponge Baby, Baby Short Plush. <laughs> <laughs> you all moved on to that adult ass shit. I'm on that Sponge Baby Short but Plush. But it's also like... Spun baby short plush adult. adult. Like there's like three <laughs> different. Like what? For baby's, baby's mutant, mutant cousin. cousin. Yes, correct. Dude, correct. Un unheard of. <laughs> this is unheard of territory. Dude, unheard of plush <laughs> baby plush. Adult. Holy shit! The nightmares are gonna ah! get stronger as we move no. on. To Morph costume? Yeah, these are the morph costumes, the morph suits. I don't know if the home is the name the of the home? costume or... Oh, we can't see it. We can't it. see it. They don't tell us. There's not a lot to go it's off terrifying. here, but the costume is scary, for sure. Ronald after a huge load of palm oil fries. Oh, I've got that. Comment? Is, I only read Ronald after a huge load. I'm yeah, after a huge load. He looks like he's got the suds. Um, Daddy's right. little disaster. Oh, we got the Liv Morgan Ooh, costume Liv here. Liv Morgan, yeah, 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 yeah. Love that. Wow. Yeah. Daddy's little disaster. Okay, I mean, that's honestly, not bad. Like, was it Daddy's little monster? Is that what it was? I think is the uh... no. Daddy's little monster. Wait, what? Wait, was? was that one of them up there? No. What was the? What was her thing? What was Harley Quinn's thing? She had something that said. She might have like a daddy's little monster. I mean, there's been so many Harley Quinn looks now. Yeah, it's daddy's little monster, right? Daddy's little monster, okay. yeah. Daddy's little disaster, though. That was it, okay. This is original IP. It's good, it's good. Music legs. Music legs? <laughs> what brand? Extra small. <laughs> uh, and Cass's voice, good girl. Good Where's girl. Where's the Mommy's Issue merch? I'm gonna, I am swear to God, guys, I'm gonna start selling it soon. I have to still put it up on the website, but I took pictures of it. Yeah. So I keep forgetting it's only issues. been a week since G4 shut down. I know it'll happen, it's been guys. A little more Mommy than a week now. Issues merch will be dropping out. The first, the first drop will be shirt and then a crew neck sweatshirt. All in one color. No, there's the one. The T-shirt is in one color, and then the crew neck. I'm doing a mini drop, and then if it works, if you guys like it, then I'll add more. Yeah. But for now, it's just for. And fun. eventually, we gotta get a we gotta get ahead of this T-shirt for Casim. Cas that is Casim's thing. We got, but he's I've gotta get gotta one. Gotta get because I want one. What shirt that says? I gotta get ahead. I gotta get ahead of, get this. Ahead of this. Good. Yeah. Um, Aqua, Aqua Hero. Hero. Jesus. Okay. Honestly, there's been way crazier ones, yeah, so now this, this one's seems not pretty that mild. Bad. I, but it does come with a temporary tattoo. And this this reminds me of um, when Kasim had his temporary tattoos and he wouldn't take it off. Yep. Do you remember for a week he had his temporary yep. tattoos because he thought he looked so cool? Oh, fuck. You remember we were going to do the Hot Boy uh, episode of Attack in the Show? Oh, yeah. That's one thing I do wish we'd gotten uh, to do. The Hot Boy episode where Kasim was going to wear contacts yeah. and his earrings. The bit was going to be that Kasim had become a hot boy over the week. Like the TikToks, like, Maybe yeah. he has blonde hair, he's got tattoos, yeah, yeah, earrings. Yeah. Then he bites someone. Yeah, and, and then everybody we all starts... become we all become hot boys, and we start making TikToks. We start making TikToks, and we keep looking into the camera. Like, Nobody really has anything to it. say about any of the yeah, videos. Yeah. Just like that video we was cool. We just keep I looking hot into the yeah. camera. That's so funny. We would have saved the network. That if only we had done it in time. Uh, mysterious magician boy. Not as good as um, Potter, Potter. Potter teacher wizard boy or whatever it was. I'm, I'm, am I crazy or does that say $189? Oh God. It must be in some other it's currency. It's in some other currency. Is, I see HKs like Hong Kong. I don't know. I'm hoping that's, at most that should be $18. It has to be I mean $18, $18 is an unfair price for this. Why is that $189? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm assuming it's in a currency that I, I don't know what HK is. Maybe it's Hong Kong currency. I don't think that's real. I mean, it's got an Italian flag on it. Nope, that's dollars. That's dollars. Like, there's a dollar sign. There is a dollar sign. If this is $189, then you got to really mark up the prices of those uh, of those t-shirts fee. Uh, including the... Zombie game. Last Man. Zombie Last Man. So it's just Waldo dead? It's just a fucked up Waldo it's shirt. It's just a fucked up Waldo shirt and pants, I guess. You're just buying pre-bloodied okay. Waldo costume. Oh, it's Paul. No, it's not Paul. Hunter Kitty. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's not Leo. Yeah. All right, that one's not there. Unusual Events is back. There it is. This is 11. There, this is... Like, she's not blonde, right? No, she wears this costume. Oh. In, like, the first season? So. Yeah. So it's a specific... Again, if you're going to wear an 11 costume, yeah, yeah. I think you got to go with a hospital look. You do, but this one's the one where no one wants to wear, like, no one wants to wear a bald cap, so they can wear this. So they wear the hotter be 11. one. Yeah, they could be the hotter one. Yeah, okay. I guess. You could be the hotter version of this child. This you're child? I mean, I guess now she's 18 or whatever. I guess. But I don't think she was there. Aqua uh, Walker. Children's costume. Oh my god, this guy's face, dude. Someone in chat said water adjacent, uh, man, and I do think that's a better name. For water Houston. adjacent is great. This one, I mean, I like this Thank pose. Thank you, Case, for saying it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The pose is Oh, oh. god, there are only two left. This looks like a guy. Really? Right only? Damn. What's this called? Manga Boy. Manga Boy. Manga <laughs> the Manga Boy. Boys are coming. Yeah, the Manga Boys are coming. <laughs> okay, Manga Boy, this is in euros. It's 10 euros. Oh, no, it's actually 17. Yeah, if you take out the N, it's Manga Boy. Manga Boy? <laughs> Manga Boy. Manga Boy. Oh, no, Manga Boy is oh, coming. No. And he's Manga a big Boy's old. Manga Boy coming. Be careful. Idea frescas y otra vida. I ideas. Fresh, fresh ideas. Fresh ideas. Okay, oh, he's ready to fight. Look at him. He's fucking... Mean mugging. All right. Last one, guys. What? what? Child maid's costume? Um, uh, this is a weird note to end it on. That's weird. Really? And then, uh, yes. Arte, that, what started, a weird really? one to end on. Yeah, there were some stronger ones. All right, I'm going to quickly scroll back up. Yeah. And try to determine our favorite. Oh, and for me, it was Trans Boy. Trans Boy, I think, might also. somewhere. Okay, my favorite title, though, if I can find it, was Potter, was Potter Teacher, Teacher Wizard, Wizard Boy. Boy. Way not the best costume, but that title, insane. Okay, Potter Teacher Wizard Boy, then Naughty Cat's Friend 2 was <laughs> yeah, very good. that's pretty good, That too. was pretty good. The best costume, though, I agree. It's Trans, Trans Boy. Boy. <laughs> Aladdin was oh, pretty, that's good, pretty good, too. but I do think Trans Boy beats that. Well, guys, we already told you all the best candies to get. Now, now you know the, all the, best, best the best costume you can get for this Halloween is Trans Boy. Ooh, although the one, if it weren't $189, if it's real, I would order is sponge baby <laughs> shirt sponge. but don't no, mess up buddy <laughs> this name makes me laugh so much yeah if anyone in chat is just has too much money to burn Dude, i mean honestly spend it on something better but, but sponge baby short plush adult mascot funny costume I, like literally if we have to really acknowledge every single word here sponge baby, baby short, short plush, plush adult, adult mascot, mascot funny costume, costume. And in my head, that is the name of the franchise. <laughs> because I'm like baby and adult in the same phrase. Yeah. That is so wild. Great work too. Um, I don't know who that what this company is. I don't unfortunately. know either. But it is delivered to over 170 countries worldwide, guys. That's almost all the countries. That is all the countries. I think so. <laughs> that might be all of them. And he's a landlord. <laughs> and he's a landlord. Yeah. Put a freaking captain's hat on him. And he's a pilot and uh, a landlord. Can we go on Kiwi? Uh, can we look at the Kiwi, the, the tab you have open? Oh, yes. Uh, I think it's here. Fun Kiwi. Yeah, if you go to fun kiwi, fun.kiwi.nz, um, you'll see that's one of the companies that made a lot of these. They do have a shitload of knockoff costumes. Got to give it up to them. Yeah, I mean, they have what it is, you know. Poncho. American French, Indian. French man. Super workman red. Wally man. Hold on a second. Wally man is Waldo. Wally man. Yeah, let's just run through some of these real quick. I mean, we don't need to, just if we scroll down. Invisible man, which is looks like a lady in there, but I could be wrong. Hold on. Okay, yeah. So go, if we could, we have to click on a... Uh, Salesman black. Salesman? What? The assassin? Gangster <laughs> kit. 
<laughs> Guys, if you ever wonder gangster what a gangster chain? looks like, it's a it's a gold chain that looks like it's made out of cereal. Oh my god. Oh my god. Toddler wing. Yeah, what? Okay. <laughs> All of these sound like things you find go, at a crime scene. Yeah, go to men's costume and let's click on that. It's <laughs> not working. Muscle bat hero. Muscle bat hero. Not to be confused with bat hero. Right. There are two different ones. Okay, then they're pretty. Vampire cape, sure. Doc. Okay, droopers. What's droopers? I don't know if we can show droopers. Oh, no. <laughs> Egyptian man. Hooded ghost. Like, all of these are so problematic, but also. Oh, God. Scroll down a little bit more. Let's get. Mexican. Yeah! <laughs> Mexican. <laughs> Oh, good. They also have Mexican there's fun. No, there's no way. And if you're a fan of ninjas, don't worry. We got Ninja Man. There's no way. I'm surprised Pirate Jack doesn't have a more offensive name. Retro Cop. Superhero. Okay. Bloody Surgeon. Beer Man. What's this other? Just another. They're another. Oh, another Mexican. Just Mexican. Yeah. What? There's no way. I just want to see what other offensive names they have. Oh, they must. I Ooh, mean, Hawaii guy. Hawaii Pancho, guy, okay. Poncho. Oh, uh, the more Ponchos again. French, French man. man. American uh -oh, American Indian. Indian. Oh. Can we oh. <laughs> Guys, they did not get the right model for that one. <gasps> Guys, do not buy. Do not caution. buy from Fun Kiwi. Do not buy the American Indian costume Dude. to wear it out. People will not be oh, happy. Oh, my God. And I think we bought some of those aviator costumes for the Did top we? sketch. Maybe. Maybe. That's about I right. Don't know. Halloween cape, but it's a vampire. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I think chicken. Remember, I okay. I think I think we might have seen the highlights. They are fully looping these now. Mexican, Mexican poncho. poncho. Why Super was work man why did we see about four different Mexican ponchos? People get offended by anything, sure, but when you call your costume Mexican, Mexican and literally. it's just a white guy like. <laughs> I mean, am I saying I'm offended? No. Am I no. saying that's something am I'm I, reacting to? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm not offended, but also so, Mexican. <laughs> I'm just saying, what? I wouldn't buy that costume. Oh you guys might want to not buy that costume. Oh, my God. Sorry to our Chinese. <laughs> Damn, us Mexicans are really oh everywhere. Oh, my God, did that blew my mind. <laughs> Uh, Ooh, well, okay. guys, those are your top 40-plus costumes to wear this Halloween. <sighs> if anybody wants to buy sponge plush, oh God, i got to remember this. Sponge, sponge baby, baby short, short plush, plush adult, adult mascot, mascot funny, funny costume. costume. If anybody <laughs> happens to buy that, just you know, take a picture and let, let us know. know. Let us know. Wow. Oh, how could we even top that news? I don't know. That was pretty fucking good, though. Boy of the Rings. Damn. Should um, we, just by way of taking a break from the news, read any subs we got? Oh, Shout yeah. Them out. Let's read some subs. We got some subs. Oh, this is oh, a good idea. Wow. wow. Damn. Oh, oh, dude. I don't know. Oh, that's yesterday. See, you're also at 23,000 followers. Congrats. Oh, wow. You know, that's the thing with, like, Twitch is, like, the follower count doesn't matter. Oh, it's here. I it's think so. it reflects a little bit of your of awareness of I you, I guess so, yeah. Because there's a lot of people I follow and don't sub to. Yeah. Uh, J, uh, J Milner 91 subscribed and then gave out 10 subs. Thank you Thank so you, much. Jay. We had Jeff builds a base, uh, gifted one month sub to fentanyl <laughs> entity gave out five community subs. Thank you so much. Teriyaki tres subscribed with the prime guys. I'm telling you, if you've got prime, it works it out. Up. Coffee bean hipster subscribed at one month. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. We had a hype train. Casual Clock, subscribed with Prime. Hell yeah, Lone Magician. Thank you for the sub, the Prime sub. Duke Stormheart, hell yeah. <laughs> subscribe, thank you so much. Spe spelling. spelling Expert. I oh, oh, you can that's spell that. so funny. Nice work, Spelling subscribe Expert. Subscribe with Prime, thank you. So Thanks, Sauce. Thanks, Sauce. Thanks, Sauce. <laughs> sub, thank you so much. Uh, can I be frank with the 10 community subs? Thank you so much. That was a that was a big boy. <laughs> Thayer Paulson. Uh, Thayer Paulson subscribed. Hell yeah, and that's yeah. it. Thank you guys, guys so thank much. You. Where I, are we? Where are we at with our subs? I yeah. did update the um, counter. What, 1070. 1070. So our goal is 1250. 1250 is going to be... Um, Kendall's going to dye her hair. Kendall's going to dye her hair. We, did we decide? Come here so we can decide yeah, let's what talk, color. Let's talk about this. Let's wrap. Let's wrap about it. Let's wrap about the hair color we're going to do for you. 
She's buttoning up. She's her buttoning pants. up her pants. It's just we're just being comfy, you know. There she is. Okay. So, what are we doing for your hair? I'm thinking red. Red? Yeah. Like oh, your whole head, right? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. What if like I get it like red? Professionally bleached somewhere else, and then I come here. <laughs> And that's so valid. Said, that's so valid. Yeah, she not said, here. "Not here." And then you don't think we do the best bleach job? No. I'm gonna ah, get professional no. bleach yeah, somewhere yeah. else. Well, to then be I fair, come we back don't and know. then we turn it red. Right, right. Because we don't know. You don't need to bleach it too high. Exactly. We just need to get. But then we have what yeah. red? You have to pick out the red, the red hair dye yeah. you want. I'll just have my girl just like give me a thing, and then I'll just bring it here, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we'll just do okay. it. Sick, sick. Okay. I mean, we, I mean, we're doing a 24-hour stream. We could bring your hair person in to hang out if she wants that's to. Tr that's, that's true. true. We can shout her out for all of our too. chatters. She lives so far. She, oh, she lives, does? like, okay. in Santa Clarita. Damn. Oh, yeah. where is that? That's, like, 45 minutes north. Oh. Okay. Mm. So you're going to go from there. blonde to red. Well, yeah. Uh, it's going to be, like, to... a really weird blonde orange. Okay. And, and then, then you're gonna and go red. red. And then I'm gonna have Fiona just massage my yeah, head for me. Yeah, like this. Ooh, that's the mm. that's the real motivation. Massage, here. yeah. And then and it's gonna be like a nice dark red. Like, yeah. a, is it gonna yeah. be like a burgundy or like? A, well, it depends. How far should I go? It just it depends what you want. Chat, what do you think? I'm going through shit. Right? You're going you know through I mean? shit. I mean, I like a dark red. I like a blood red. You know what I mean? Like a dark red. What's what's the color red that people go through after a breakup? Rouge is what someone says. Rouge. That is the rouge color is I feel like. Red. Rouge. <laughs> Guys, I think rouge is the color that we need. <laughs> Why are you <laughs> red? I like what this guy said. Rouge. rouge. He said rouge. <laughs> That's the color. Yeah. Um. Jean gray red. That's very red. That's so red. Fire engine also very red. That's very red. I, I think what you're imagining is <laughs> we are not the most objective crew. Ninety nine percent will just say red. Yeah. <laughs> I do think I do think like a dark red is. I feel like, like a dark nice. red would be dark, good. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah, like like a red where like you can see that it's red. Yeah. But it can also yeah. Maybe not, yeah. I dyed my hair red maybe, once. Maybe we just put a red over this. Maybe we don't even. Need you to could. It. I mean, it's gonna be. You won't see it. It's here. gonna be so dark. Yeah. Maroon. Maroon. Yeah. Maroon, yeah. Maroon, like a maroon. Yeah. More maroon. Sure. I dyed my hair red and I looked fucking awful. You I, I literally just I looked like a clown. I can imagine you look like, like a clown. I just, I I'm too white. So red. Yeah. I'm already kind of red. I had red hair too at some point. Amaranth red. Both no, of you can pull off see. red hair. Let me see uh, if I have I any just, pictures. Like, going through the TikTok filters that make your what a maroon hair exactly a color. I sent Let me this see. Here, right? Dark is more mysterious. Like, I do I agree. I was just going through all the filters. On oh, TikTok. you see, I like this, this one. This one? Yeah. That's a little bit of a brighter red, though, right? Wait, sh it's like show the other one. This is like okay. This is like a like a yeah. Maroon. Show chat. Yeah. Yeah. Fold up this is camera. a maroon. This is number one. I, uh, no, I like the other one. Here's like the option number. The TikTok filters, so fuck that one, right? We don't care no. about this one. And then there's this one. It's like maroonish. And then this one's just like straight red, red. It's like a. Yeah. Which one? I like that one, but like maybe one darker. Too. Yeah. Let's put darker. Ronald Red. I had like really red hair. Oh, you Whoa, did. I had so like hot. super red hair yeah. here. Uh -oh. oh, shit. Oh, God, did it break that's... everything? Oh, okay, thank wow. God. Wow. It's, more, wow. it's sturdier than we thought. Whoa. Everyone's saying two. Two? Everyone's saying like two or three. Also, though, it depends on the color settings I have on that camera as to how it looks. <laughs> that's true. That's so true. That's yeah, true. I agree. Well, okay, anyway, regardless, at 1250 or is it 1200? 1250. 1250. We're going in increments of 250. Yeah. We're going to find out together we'll what find color. Together what color yeah. it's going to be. <gasps> Match yeah. your beard. Oh, dye my dye my beard red. That uh, is going to look insane. Dude, look red. I'm going to look like a fucking one piece character. I was already oh, thinking man. we should bleach your beard. Bleach my beard? <laughs> what will that do to my skin though? No, we get like a safer. We get like a safe. That People is an easy one for their... me to get rid of though. I can just buzz it down and That's it comes true. right back. When is the 24 hour stream or starting this Friday at 10? It's okay, yeah. 24 hour stream starts, yes, this Friday at 10 a.m. Uh, guys, it's gonna be a. Oh, oh, here's uh, one thing I wanted to see what chat thinks. I think what we were planning, and I, I pitched this to Case, 
We do 12 hours on my channel, and then the last 12 hours we do on Case's channel so we can pump his numbers on his channel. It'll be the start. It'll, we're, we're unveiling Unveiling Case's the Case channel. Cha yeah. Also, chat, if we do this, right now my uh, Twitch account is just Case5091. <laughs> the most generic should name ever. Keep, should he keep Case5091? Should that be my channel, or should I come up with a better Twitch name? I think you have crepes. My friends in Chicago used to call me crepes. So I could start some kind of crepes named channel. Crepes Blackwell. Like crepes Blackwell, crepes Black, and crepes Bravo. I don't when know. When you're on the TwitchCon floor, everyone's going to be like, oh my God, it's crepes. It's crepes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cream, cream case. Cream case is good. <laughs> Splunther. Yeah. Splunther? Ooh, I could be Splunther. This feels like a hostage negotiation. <laughs> yeah. So here's what we're going to do, okay? To release Case from his. <laughs> <laughs> from his dungeon downstairs. Chef case, case chef, the crepist. Ooh, the, the crepist. That's a little creepy, that but I guess. Not that one. <laughs> case Bravo was a good one that we That's, thought. He of. has to stay blind. Big Nutter. Glue. Oh. Okay, I don't know. Something about Big Nutter is amazing. <laughs> Splinter is taken. Okay, fair enough. Oh. Case Bravo. I would consider that. I, I, do, I do wonder if I have to stay blind then. Case in, in point. point. That's a good show right there. The crepist. Case Devin today. Carrera. This is the crappest. <laughs> <laughs> the name crappest? It, name it Fiona Nova fan account. <laughs> oh, that is tempting. See, my, my, my temptation is always to give myself a terrible name. Yeah. But, I don't know, then I could just keep, keep Case 5091. <laughs> I think, honestly, like, yeah. Well, Case Mouth? Case Mouth is not bad. Case Bravo does kind of sound like a Twitch streamer name to me. Maybe you should mm. do that. So I could do that. Case Nosh, I can't, I can't dick ride Will that hard. He'll, he, eventually he Fiona will get annoyed. Fiona Nova waiting room. Ooh, briefcase. Could just briefcase. go with the pun name. Case of cream. Yeah. I'm taking all of these under advisement chat. All of these are going deep briefcase into my brain. Briefcase is pretty good. Real G4 TV. That's funny. Other Fiona Nova is also pretty funny. That is very funny. My actual name, though, Case Blackwell, does sound like a stage name, so I could just go my full ass name. You could, but also Case Bravo is pretty good. Case Bravo is also Cass pretty good. B. <laughs> Cass of B. Cass of B. Cass Nova. That one's oh, so cool. good. That's literally like that's you guys. Cool. Ooh, case hole is kind of funny to me. Real Fiona Nova. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could just be Kasem. Kasem, <laughs> that's pretty oh funny. Gosh. Um, my dad used to call me Kaser. I could do that. Okay. All right. Right now, right now, I'm leaning towards probably Case Bravo. Well, Although it sounds so twitchy to me. That's that pretty good. Kiss Nobby. Kiss Olivia Nobby. Oh, it's a, yeah. Hassan. Oh, no, yeah. no. If we get enough channels, then uh, cumulatively we will conquer Hassan. Oh, this we are going to. I mean, I already believe that Kasim's on his way to conquer Hassan. Yeah, I believe it he too. Wants to be, he wants to be number one on Twitch. And if he wants that, he's going to get it. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's gonna, gonna get, get it. it. He's going to become number oh one. My right gosh. now, my plan for my first stream is I'm going to. Invite on slash I will be Case of come. Case of come. Oh, I do like that. First stream, I'm going to be a Christian dad playing uh, Leisure, Leisure Suit, Suit Larry. Larry. Oh Christian God. dad plays Amazing. Leisure Suit Larry. Up here, no. Kendall, yes. take this. I'm going to go back. Oh, okay. Oh, I can clip mine in then. Uh, they could have hear. Ha they I've never played a Leisure me. Suit Larry game, so it might be horribly painful. But right now, my plan is I'm going to be a Christian dad playing Leisure Suit Larry for two or three hours. And we'll just see how it goes. Yeah, good Christian server, exactly. Case of base. <laughs> All right, let's cover a news story together, Kendall. Remember no, when we it's used not to... my thing. We we just stall until Fiona comes back. Okay, fine. We'll keep stalling. Yeah, we then. stall. We stall. Um. Okay. Chat. Any hot date ideas? Unrelated to being on stream, <laughs> Kendall. Just any hot date ideas for me? <laughs> it depends. <laughs> Who's are you, do you want to do something fun? Yeah. What's a cool thing to do with someone that you really like? Just asking for a friend. Wait, are you trying to go out for fun for yourself or are you trying to choose something for the person you're taking on a date? It'd be like a fun thing to do with someone on a date. Like ideally for both of us. <laughs> farmer's market. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I did say I was supposed to take you to the farmer's market. Yeah. There's one like next to the... The not the Americana, the brand. Yeah, That's buy streaming one. equipment. Like, yeah, Kendall, you want to go buy streaming equipment with me? <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> go buy streaming equipment. Owl Sanctuary. The uh, spa. Pumpkin patch. 
Oh, Pink hayride? Ball. Oh, no. Remember oh, that we thing with go to the, the, thing. the strawberries where you like buy a container, you eat the strawberries off the little bush, and you put the stem in the container, and that's what you pay for. Yeah. I don't know what season that is, though. Pokemon Go. Mm-hmm. Fiona leaves for one minute and these two start dating, you know? Oh, I know, right? Yeah, we just decided. <laughs> <laughs> you can take not the rose one. You can take anything else. Just not the rose one. The rose ones are mine. Dude, you guys can't keep having treats. <laughs> Listen, I love, I love sweets when it comes to stuff like that. A mescaline trip? That is the ultimate date. Yeah, I just really like the rose ones. No, the rose one does look Catalina. Okay, Ooh. I was talking to Case about Catalina Island, and sure, it's a, like a good place for like a day, but everything is like a hundred dollars to do, and there's not much to do there. Yeah, it's like bike ride at Venice Beach. Do you like riding bikes? What? Oh, God. This is this is gross. Wait, how do I even? Break? Is the camera <laughs> 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 Okay, it's like, how do I contact this undulating uh, substance? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the connection? Alright. What are we doing? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, I didn't get one. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys stop doing that? <laughs> <laughs> we are fully, we are fully <laughs> grossing out, Fiona. Christian, come here. <laughs> Come here, Christian. Come on, Christian. All right, let's mic. Okay. We just got banned from Twitch for kissing. All right. If you're not already following the stream, hit the follow button. <laughs> case, case me. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a struggle. <laughs> Guys, that's, that's 1,500. Watch out. Take this away from me. Can I unsub? <laughs> Thank you, Whoa. Chelsea Johnson. Wow. Why doesn't Christian want to kiss me? <laughs> <laughs> Save it for the late night 24 hour stream? Oh, yeah. I can't kiss Fiona. She's in a relationship. I don't want it. I don't want it. We need to, we need to stay single to promote viewership, like a K pop band, right? Like, oh, we yeah. can, we can yeah, never, yeah. We, can, we always have to be not taken. Listen, the real oh, fans. 2000, Case gets his chest waxed on street. Oh, oh, oh my God. Guys. 1500. Uh, I, 1500. I do have a lot of chest hair. Like, I mean, I, I'm not the hairiest guy ever, but I have a fair amount. You are a, a hairy boy. Hairy. Oh, that is a brutal one. I think I would literally bleed, right? No. no you'd be you fine. Be right. It's just a lot. It's going to be painful. We have to make I'm sure. I'm going to grab chat. I would honestly. Like it has to grab the whole hair. Ew. Well, I can do I it. I look way I better with chest before. hair, though, than without it. Okay. 40 year old Virginia shit. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Almost dies. Guys, this place is so full of traps. Well, what are we doing now? All right. Hey. We got. We should probably go for another 30 if we want to hit two hours. Let's do another 30. Um, and we may as well talk. We, we promised a bunch of fentanyl news, which yeah. we were getting Did close we to. Did we get to at least one of it? Um, cops touching fentanyl. Cops touching fentanyl. Let's let's talk about it, guys. Let's finally Sponge cover. Sponge baby plush adult funny costume. Wait, no, I was trying to remember. Oh, remember. fuck. Wait, I can reopen it. Sponge baby. It, no, it was Sponge, Sponge baby short plush adult. I'll, I'm gonna go back to I'm it. I'm gonna remember. I need to like, I need to make this my my background down. on my on my Sponge computer. Sponge baby plush. Sorry, it's all loading. S Sponge baby short plush adult. This is like a Homeric poem I must memorize so I can say it around the campfire. Oh, there it is. Sponge, Sponge baby, baby short, short plush adult mascot, mascot funny, funny costume. costumes. Okay, it's Sponge, Sponge baby short plush adult mascot, mascot funny costume. costume. Okay, yeah. I got it. I got it. This is the show that I want yeah. to pitch <laughs> Cartoon Network. One more. One more. Sponge, Sponge baby short plush adult mascot funny costume. Sponge baby short plush adult mascot funny costume. Sponge baby short plush adult mascot funny costume. <laughs> Dude, we're like Arya Stark. Yeah. Whisper the names as you go to sleep. Sponge baby short plus the 
Oh God. Okay. Wow. What a legend. What a what legend. Sponge legend. baby short flesh adult mascot. What's up with his teeth? Anyways, okay. He's I have to stop suit. looking at it. All right. He looks like he's on Molly. What is up with this website? Deflector. Uh, is Deflector not going to let me read this? No. no Defector. Oh, Defector. Sorry. Deflector. It's a Deflector. No. Sign no, up. No. Just press X again. Oh, we literally can't read it. To keep reading for free. Please enter your email. Oh, no, no, no. But oh. he's already doing it. Okay, we'll just read it off the TV. Um, so, okay. First of all, I feel like cops cannot stop talking about how they're so scared of fentanyl. Yeah. And I think it's a little overblown. But let's read okay. what this is. Um, Ryan Feldman was holding an IV bag when it happened. Something ripped when he pulled the line out and almost an entire bag with 950 micrograms of liquid inside spilled and doused his hand in fentanyl. I was a little annoyed at first, he said, but I realized sometimes in science an accident is an opportunity. Basically, Feldman realized he had an experiment on his hands. What? What? Feldman has seen a spate of stories in the news. Oh, maybe this guy is, is disproving all this shit. Oh, okay. Feldman has seen a spate of stories in the news about police officers who have allegedly overdosed after merely touching fentanyl. The drug is an opiate with 50, uh, 50 times stronger than heroin and has largely replaced heroin and other opiates in recreational drug supplies. Oh. Uh, this has led in part to massive rise in overdoses, despite wide availability under the brand name Narcon of uh, Naloxone, Naloxone, a drug that can reverse an overdose. Okay. Uh, so apparently there's a drug that can re reverse overdoses, but overdoses are on the rise because of fentanyl. Okay. Again, I'm not saying fentanyl isn't a dangerous drug. It no, is. it is. But I just it's... don't believe touching it is as dangerous yeah. as cops are claiming it yeah. is. Yeah. Which maybe this is about. As okay. a toxicologist, Feldman would also have been able to see the glaring problem with all of the stories of police officers sur uh, suffering dr dermal, dermal fentanyl overdoses, uh, which is that such a thing is basically impossible. Fentanyl is a skin soluble, but not at a rate that would cause an overdose. Yeah, exactly. And so Feldman was abruptly the subject of a nice old experiment. His ungloved hand was doused in fentanyl after all, uh, blah, blah, blah. It was about a minute before- And he before even he had a cut on his palm. Oh, wow, he had a cut. Uh, Feldman did not overdose. We okay, did. Okay, it was about a minute before he washed his hands with soap and water. Okay. Yeah. He did not even suffer any ill effects. His paper uh, with Benjamin Watson, accidental occupational exposure to a large volume of liquid fentanyl on a compromised skin barrier with no resultant effect was published last week. Is there an exposure that happens to be on, um, if there's an exposure that happens to be on your skin, Feldman said, you have time to wash it off. Exactly. Okay. And I cannot overstate, there have been so many fucking local yeah, articles yeah, yeah. about like- I've never seen any of these articles actually. It's like cops are claiming they were handling evidence that happened to have touched fentanyl. Yeah. And they had overdosed and needed like disability pay basically. Like, I don't know. Again, I'm not trying to go after all what? cops or anything, but like, I think that that's I just was okay. bullshit. Um, so what makes it so it's when it's like in your body? Um. Well, like, if you actually inject fentanyl, like, yeah, heroin, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're going to have, like, an extreme reaction to it because it's meant right. to be high as fuck. So, fun. yeah, but then why are they... So they thought touching it? Well, there's just been a shitload of stories of cops touching fentanyl claiming that they, like, got incredibly sick. Yeah. They're trying to claim it basically as, like, an occupational hazard. It's extra dangerous because people add it to drugs without telling customers. That is absolutely true, Dave. Which so. I think that's wild, yeah. yeah. But the stories I'm referring to are more like, like, uh, let's see if we can find one. Um... Cops touch fentanyl. Which is, I never heard of this. Um, C fentanyl contact overdoses, changing the name. Seems like most of the stories now are, are about people dis disproving these stories. I wish I could find one of the original stories. Police officers say they're overdosing from fentanyl. Experience. Cops keep having fentanyl seizures on camera. So this might cover the stuff I'm talking about. I'm going to paste this in. Uh, I'll throw this at the top, uh, Christian. Wow, I did not know this. Yeah, I mean, you know, this is just stuff I was vaguely aware of. Um, it's become a meme at this point. Videos of cops having what appears to be seizures or other serious physical reactions when they just so happen to touch a small amount of fentanyl. Oh, someone also put one in the Discord. I'm oh, is it? it? Um, John Ol oh, so John Oliver called out. Ooh, is there if anybody can find an original reporting on this, though, where they're claiming that this is real, there were a bunch of those stories... I think at this point, like about a year ago. Wow. Um, but John Oliver also did a piece on this, which I was not aware of. Um, uh, okay. So uh, uh, for uh, this whole time, though, people have been noting that this is impossible. So cops are veritably freaking out when they touch drugs said to be contaminated with fentanyl. What gives? Um, damn. Is there any video of this? No. Let's see if we can find one on YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. Co oh, no. Some good old cop fentanyl seizures. Okay. 
cop fentanyl overdose body cam oh my god what is this all right this is we're just gonna watch this unvetted it's from fox local news so i'm just curious we'll see if it's if it's too wait, 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 read the first comment to see if it's it's definitely real at least i mean the, the it's not like a jokes website you <laughs> dare really step up okay we're gonna watch all right um let's just yeah. see Let's see what the uh, local police department... I'm San Diego County Sheriff Bill Gore. What you're about, you're about to, to see is traumatic, traumatic body-worn body camera worn footage involving one of our deputies who was exposed to fentanyl, fentanyl during his patrol shift. <laughs> By exposed, I bet he means okay. touched. Don't be sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. I got you, okay? I'm not going to let you die. I'm not going to let you die. It's okay. Just focus on your breathing, okay? Focus Whoa. on your breathing. Whoa. Can... Fox 26. I'm Corporal Scott Crane from the San Diego County Sheriff's Department. Scott Crane, no. Crane was exposed to fentanyl and nearly died. By what do you? What does he mean by? It was our first radio call of the day, and this was uh, Deputy Five Eyes' radio call. He found a white substance that he suspected was drugs. Dude, is this a documentary? It's and what did he do with it? That stuff's no joke. It was super dangerous. I was like, hey, dude, too close. You can't get that close to it. A couple seconds later, he took some steps back and he collapsed. So he literally just touched it. I ran over and I grabbed him and he was ODing. And I went to my trunk. Maybe he had like a psychosomatic seizure? I guess that's possible. Oh my god. One nasal spray in one nostril. Why is he? Open the other one. Another nasal spray. He looks very at peace. Hey dude, too close. Just not feeling right and I fall back. And uh, I just, I don't remember anything after that. Just breathe, buddy. Trying to get him to focus on just breathing. And because. Oh. That fentanyl, you can't breathe. It was in an incident. It's as though you like my lungs just locked up. I, I, so again, I couldn't breathe. Assuming it was actually was fentanyl, this is scientifically impossible. Impossible. This cannot. He had a panic attack. He could have had a panic attack. I, I, he could be having any kind of like psychological condition. Don't be sorry. There's nothing to be sorry. It kind of reminds me of Havana Fever. This is the CIA. Why, what is this? Why does it feel like a Netflix documentary? Because Fox 26 loves their local police department. They gotta protect them. Jesus Christ, the amount of fucking packages these guys have to deal with this. There are people who take this drug. Uh, it's an invisible killer. He would have died in that park. It's an invisible killer, he said. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that we found uh, okay. you know, one of the I, I just can't believe parts. the way they shot this. And he started yeah. ODing. And he was ODing the whole way. To the hospital. Do you want to watch one more? Yeah, let's, let's watch, watch one, one more. more. Severe, put this out of time. I just can't Definitely believe. I, I, I honestly cannot believe I'm how they shot David this. Yeah. It is insane. They also With have the like talking the, head and everything. And they've got like the atmospheric yeah, yeah, yeah. Music, like, like, It's like, dang, dude, I fell yeah. down outside. What? I'm the real heroes. You know, they don't always wear capes. Oh my god. Fentanyl overdoses are on the rise throughout. Oh uh, yeah, I think I think we got you know we appreciate this officer and all of his service. We but what the in front fuck? of his uh, high school prom photo <laughs> backdrop, telling us about the dangers of touching fentanyl. I'm San Diego County Sheriff. Is this another? Is this what the same one? To see is uh, no. Oh, I think I oh, no, oh I put in the same. He, one of our wait, hold on. I posted the same, same one. one. Let me. I must have not copied it right. Sorry. <laughs> Run it back. Run it back. All right, now this should be right. So this is a cop packing up evidence, and he, who's claiming that? Oh, look, it's not the, uh, uh wait, fu uh, fuck Norm says. As an epileptic, that's also not what it's Caesar's looking like. It's the eye rubbing, at. mouth touching. Did he touch his eye, or? I guess if you took fentanyl and you rubbed it in your eyes, maybe, but even then, I don't know, it's not like acid. It's not right. like if you, like, get a... Even the smallest touch of fentanyl shown in this video. Watch He's wearing gloves. ...police officer wearing protective gloves is packing up drug evidence believed to be laced with fentanyl when he slowly starts to collapse. Becoming ill, lightheaded, and actually basically passed out or, or fell. Seconds later, a rush of officers coming to the rescue. I don't know what would have happened had they not acted so quickly. Sergeant Jim Warren says officers quickly... Sergeant Jim Warren, here in his casual night sweater. Narcan is a nasal spray? 
something like this where they had to give one of their own officers. Again, there's a ton of local news stories like this that are just reporting that this is dangerous. Again, it's a, it's all in the camp of like that kind of knockout game style reporting where it's yeah, like, like you need to be scared of this parent. Are you sure they didn't he didn't sniff it or like he didn't I mean maybe he's on other drugs yeah. that he intentionally did and had a negative reaction to them, but Wait, what there's is this, this first from? there's this first comment. Wait, this I worked on a facility that made medication. We wore some very heavy duty PPE. I am amazed that officers dealing with such chemicals with unknown potencies would be given so little to protect them. Honestly, I, I mean, yeah, but also like I don't think. Again, if if he was handling like, I guess if he was just dunking his hands in LSD, yeah, like yeah, yeah that would be dangerous. But like fentanyl, as far as I know, is like a powder, right? Like, I thought it was a powder. Like, it, I didn't even know it was liquid. This is from two years ago, and this is when this shit really started popping off. Was like around two years ago, all these local news stations started reporting on like yeah. the dangers of fentanyl. But I mean, you know, you can find this stuff about Halloween this year. Everyone's claiming that candy is going to be laced with fentanyl. It's just like it's this Dude, random local what? news reporting. Yeah. Where is this coming from? It's fucking local news stations. They're just trying to drive fear basically over that is whatever so the fuck. much fear for no reason. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, if I'm totally wrong, please send me something to prove me that oh I'm wrong. My god. I'm happy to be wrong. I love to be wrong, but I'm pretty sure here I'm not wrong. Oh yeah, um, yeah. Okay. And how do you um, well, that's our fentanyl news of the day. That's crazy. That is so wild. Cops touching fentanyl. <laughs> Anyways, we got gay football fans. <laughs> yeah, let's check in with our gay football fans. Uh, this is just more... I guess it's not as funny as we thought it was going to no, be. unfortunately. Yeah. yeah, let's check in with more global homophobia Glo news. Global homophobia. Uh, UK minister criticized over call for gay World Cup fans to show respect in Qatar. Show respect. Um... J James Cleverly says flex and compromise needed on both sides in the country that criminalizes homosexuality. Oh, so World Cup is happening in Qatar. So what exactly is the compromise when they're like, hey, you being the way you are is illegal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what's the compromise here? Just be cool. Can you just be chill? They're just like, can you just please be chill and not bring a pride flight? Can yeah. you just be chill? Can you just keep uh, the can vibes? You be, can you be chill and respectful and like just Just not... for like a week. Can you be like straight for like yeah, a week? Yeah, yeah, just a week. Okay, so the UK Foreign Secretary has been criticized for telling gay football fans they should show respect to Qatar, which criminalizes their sexuality. When it Why would they even have the World Cup in Qatar? Like, that's blowing my mind. Are you telling me there's no gay football player? I'm not openly probably in Qatar, unfortunately. Or, like, just even the other ones. Like, there's going to be the, the whole world's going to be there. Yeah. It's not a great look. <laughs> Why would they go to a country that doesn't... Like, I think that is absolutely... You can't tell me there's not a, 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 a gay soccer player going there to play soccer. Or are they not allowed to go there to play soccer? I I mean, I guess there must be. You're right. There must be at least one openly gay there soccer There must player. be. I don't know. Um, Wait, I am so confused. And are they allowed to play? They might not be allowed to play. Well, let's see what this article says. Uh, so cl who's Cleverly? He Cleverly is the... Who is Cleverly? Um, oh, it's the UK minister. Okay, I guess of the yeah. World Cup. I've spoken to the Qatari authorities in the past about my gay, uh, about gay football fans going to watch the World Cup and how they will treat our fans. Um, they want to make sure that football fans are safe. They know that means they are going to have to make some compromises in terms of what Islamic country with a very different set of cultural norms to our own. Um, one of the things I would say to football fans is, you know, please do be respectful of the host nation. They're trying to ensure that people can be themselves and enjoy the football, and I think with a little bit of flex and compromise on Oh Ozan, my god, shut the fuck up. It can be safe. And also, Rose Gal says most of the U.S. women's football team is gay. Yeah, I don't think they would ever host a fucking, yeah. the fucking soccer game, a women's soccer game. Lucy Powell, the shadow digital culture and media and sports secretary, called Cleverly's comments shockingly tone deaf. Wow, yeah. Uh, sports should be open to all. Many fans will feel they can't attend the tournament to cheer well, on the team. Well, of course. Yeah. I mean, you know, like this was an issue because Saudi Arabia has been doing all of those. Of uh, course, yeah. Like globalization efforts. Like as a wrestling fan, I know that like the WWE does that weird event every year in Saudi Arabia, which mm -hmm. is like a big PR push from Saudi Arabia. And for a long time, they couldn't even send women over there to compete in Saudi Arabia or compete to like perform I in Saudi Arabia. I cannot believe Qatar was even an option. Yeah, sports washing. Exactly. There's a lot of cultures 
there's a lot of regimes uh, in the Middle East that are currently kind of engaging in sports washing would be a good term for it. Hold on a second. Blood money in the bank. Uh, unless we also, Qatar will have achieved its goal of sports washing, its ap appalling reputation during the World Cup, Quiverly has an, has an opportunity to highlight the abuses being carried out by the regime. I need to understand what is going to happen to a gay soccer player. Are they not playing? They must not. I guess we, I mean, let's look, let's go. Yeah, what, they must not be, be allowed to play in the World Cup because they're gay. I mean, I guess they probably. Could. Oh, uh, do uh, do soccer because football is just soccer. Uh, I'm also misspelling Qatar. Am I? No, I'm not. Yeah. No, no, no. Jo okay. Josh gay Cole. Australian footballer Josh Cavallos shouldn't be going to Qatar where homosexuality is illegal. Yeah, they're not allowed to play. Here, let me paste this story. Well, it doesn't say that he's not allowed to play. Um, he's well, just saying they shouldn't be going there. I mean, I because I, I just don't know if that's. Like I an, don't think they're allowed to. I mean, uh, it's been almost a year since Josh Cavallo announced he is gay, but even now, I struggle to comprehend the far-reaching impact of his announcement, especially has begun to spark uh, speak out about major issues, notably the Qatar World Cup. Um, since the decision in 2021 to come out, Cavallo has become one of the most recognizable names in world football. Yeah, this is just like essentially blah, blah, blah. explaining about how he came out. Um, and then... So this is all about how he came out. Okay. Um, Cavallo admits he did not know what the reaction would be to his announcement. Okay, so okay. this is more about that. I'm just okay. curious what he... Yeah, I want to see the Qatar. Uh, let's just look for Qatar. Okay. Um, it's hard for people to understand when they don't experience it. He's referring to okay, his experience coming up. Okay, you got a lot of messages. You got a lot of messages via social media of people in countries like Qatar that say, Josh, please help me. Okay. Oh, to come out. There are 69 I want countries to know in the world. If that he's allowed to play. Doesn't seem to be saying if he's going over there, so people will. After announcing his sexuality last year, Cavallo said that he would be scared to play in Qatar, but it doesn't say if he's going or not. In response to Cavallo's fears at the time, Nasser Al Qatar, the chief executive of tournaments organizing, told CNN, On the contrary, we welcome him here in the state of Qatar. We welcome him to come and see even prior to the World Cup. Nobody feels threatened here. Nobody feels unsafe. But again, it's illegal to be gay. Yeah, I know personally if I go there, I will be protected because I'm in the public eye. Yes, yeah. but it's not him. And then he says, it's not me I'm worried about. It's those that are, met like, it's the fans that come out. Yeah. Yeah. So Whoa. So, okay. So he's allowed to play. Mm -hmm. He's just highlighting the fact that, like, it's kind of an insane situation. He's that is an absolutely insane situation. He's allowed to play. They are okay with him playing, mm -hmm. but it is illegal for what he's doing. It's illegal what he does. Yeah. And any other gay fans, yeah. what they do is illegal. Yeah. Well, I'm like, so this is like an issue with the Saudi Arabia thing in WWE. Like, you don't, I don't want to imply that, like, people in Qatar are evil for this. Like, right. you have to separate the people from no, 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 the, it's regime not, it's the regime that controls it's them. The, it's the regime, Like, yes. I'm sure there are lots of gay people in Qatar yes. that are literally constantly at risk. Yeah. Um, so it's more like, you know, they are under a problematic regime in regards to these identities. I guess maybe we need to know more about, they say it's criminalizing, but, like, is it illegal criminalizing? Or is it, like, it's just, it's just not, it's just weird that you do that? Or are they just judgmental? I, about I mean, it? I'm I'm not familiar enough with like the on the ground culture of these places. There certainly was a period in the United States where thing where homosexuality was illegal, but not necessarily something that you would be like. Are you going to jail for. because you're gay, or are you just gonna be looked at weird because you're gay? Like that's that's there's a difference. I bet. I mean, like, I bet both happen. That's wild. That's but, you know, so wild. It's sort of like we were talking about earlier. Like in Los Angeles, you probably are gonna have way less issues being gay than like yeah. in, in rural parts of Texas. I would imagine. Similar things could be true. You in go Qatar. to jail. Yeah, go to jail. Then I don't understand that he's not allowed to be there. And I mean, people do get still around the globe killed for being gay all the time, unfortunately. So I am so confused. It is so confusing. Well, it's like, yeah. It's just, it's like a crazy. I, if I was this guy, I would not go to Qatar. It feels like a trap. It feels like they're going to bring it and they're like, you're gay, I'm you're going to jail. So, like, the argument for hosting the World Cup in a place like Qatar is like, these places exist. Yeah. These people exist. Their culture is different yeah. than ours. 
So like we don't want to cut off this whole section of the world just because they don't conform to our cultural standards. Right. My argument would be like, these aren't really cultural standards. These are humanitarian standards. Like you have to allow people to, yeah, to to be the sexuality that they are, and you kind of have to thus not host global events like this in countries Ooh. where they can't be that. You way. can. But the real thing that's making all this happen is money. Like I suspect Qatar made a huge bid to get the World Cup, and that's why they're getting it. Yeah, human standards. Wow. Exactly. Wow. I if I was this guy, I would not go. Yeah. Because it feels like a trap. Well, it feels well, like a trap. Like a, a big bro. reason I know a lot of female wrestlers ended up going to Saudi Arabia yeah. is because what they said is they wanted, you know, Saudi Arabians to see females wrestle. So that ideally it would push right. standards forward. Yeah. So you could, I mean, if he goes, he might go under the pretense of like, I'm an openly gay man. I'm going to play football, football soccer in this country. What in the hopes that it pushes these things. What if they like they, you're there and they're like you're not allowed to be gay here and now you're in jail? I mean, I mean, it's certainly not impossible. I don't know. It's a, it's like a, it's a, it's a crazy situation to put people in uh, to have to like perform under these circumstances. <gasps> At the same time, if know. you don't ever like, if you just ignore these countries and act like they don't exist, I can see the argument of like, is that doing any good either? I don't know. It's uh, it's like it's just a it's like a horribly fucked up issue basically because at its core it's just. I guess we don't know we don't have enough information. I because in chats I see people saying like you won't don't go to jail because you are gay. It's if you practice gay. Yeah, it's like sodomy laws back in the day. Like if you were caught practicing gay sex, you would go. To okay. Jail. But you know, I mean, in the sixties in the United States. They used to raid gay clubs all the time. Oh, they also the said no public displays of affection for straight people. Yeah. <gasps> that was the thing that was true at Disney in the 60s. If uh, if couples or cogged or kissed that were same sex, they would get kicked out of the park. Yeah, I, that, <laughs> I was LB Taco. I was just going to say with Br Br uh, Brittany Griner, I would not leave the, co the country. I would not leave the country. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can see why, if he does end up playing, why he would. Um, but, yeah. Jesse Owens felt similar in Germany during Ooh, the Nazi Olympics. I'm not. I, dude, that, that, would even, that wouldn't even be like a discussion. I would not go. Yeah. Mm. No, That's thanks. crazy. That's wild. All right. Ooh. Well, you know, today's top stories have been Gay. global homosexuality. Global homosexuality. Uh, uh, and fentanyl. Oh, my God. <laughs> and also Halloween costumes. These so are the things you get on the back feed. So crazy. Let's see if we can find one dumb story to end on. Yeah. Kanye probably won't be as Indian fun as we boy. would like. No. Uh, okay, let's just end on this feel-good story, guys. Because you know what? I feel good about it. Uh, ABC, uh, the USB-C for iPhones. We have no choice. Apple says iPhones uh, will switch over to USB-C chargers, chargers to, to comply, comply with, with new EU, EU law. law. Fuck yeah. Top line. Apple's iPhones will switch over to USB-C chargers uh, for its upcoming iPhone devices. The company will officially, the company officially acknowledged for the first time at a Wall Street Journal event on Tuesday. I mean, I bet they were making so much money with people just purchasing their freaking chargers mm -hmm. all the time. I mean, I've bought so many fucking I, me iPhone Me too. It's so years. ridiculous. But the fact that I, I think that was one thing where I was like, hmm, do I want an Android? Because like literally the charging situation is so much easier. But I will say if everything can get on a USB-C. While acknowledging the shift, uh, Josiak signaled the company wasn't enthused by the fact of it was being forced. Of course they don't forced. want, because they make money off of the chargers. Apparently they're being forced by, e, by EU yeah. regulation standards. And this is, in my opinion, why sometimes fucking standardizing things like this from governments is good. Yeah, like, yeah, I know yeah. there's a lot of free market people out there, but, yeah. like, this was just the iPhone company price gouging the shit yeah, out of yeah. people with mm -hmm. a proprietary charger that uh -huh. served no fucking function. Yeah, yeah. Like, all of my USB-C... It was USB just an extra way to be, not, be different enough and, and also just make more money. I believe this does apply to U.S. sales because... Well, I mean, I guess it's possible they'll release a U.S.-specific iPhone model, but I think it's in their best interest to standardize it globally so that they, they just can just mass-produce these things. Um, well, let me double-check. Josviak added that the company is open to governments telling them uh, what they want to accomplish, but Apple's engineers should be left to come up with a solution to accomplish. Okay, whatever. Um, oh, wait, 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 hold on. Uh, the Apple marketing chief also argued that the problem of separate chargers for separate devices had largely been resolved by modern charging bricks, which have detachable cables. 
to no it. fucker no they, they, they didn't make it we easier. all know exactly <laughs> yeah. and also that fucking little iphone charger sucks it, it sucks like, it breaks. ships around it breaks it's bad it's a bad charger just give us a USB C. yeah and he and the marketing was like well we think we made it so that the bricks are like shut up mm -hmm. no so I, I can't confirm from this story if it's also happening in the United States, but it doesn't say that it's not. Um, Dude, is this this is from that. Forbes, which is a, oh, as far I as I know, U.S. So. publications. Like, I think no, they would just clarify. Do it. Just fucking do it. Like, God, don't stop being so greedy. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. No mention of the United States in this article, so I think this is going to be true here as well. Uh, They're so greedy. Rip Apple Pen too. Also, why? Apple Pen 2? What happened with Apple Pen 2? Yeah, I and I mean, honestly, this will only be for the newest model, so they're still going to be selling a shitload of iPhone chargers for they a long are. time. Of course, It's just that, like, they just don't want to standardize it because it then then they, then they now their competition is, they like, mm -hmm. everyone's the same. And again, in another, like, you know, five years, I'm sure we'll be on to some new type of charger. It's not like a USB-C is the last kind of charger you're ever going to yeah. need. But it'll at least be nice that now when I buy like a lav mic that charges with yeah. USB-C, I can use the same charger. Dude, thank God. Yeah. And also, yeah, USB-Cs charge faster. In they my charge opinion. faster. They're better. And just standardize it. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, just fucking let everyone, let everything charge with a USB-C. What are, what are we losing yeah. here, guys? What are we losing? What are we losing? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. Honestly, the feel good story of the day. No, honestly, that, that would make me so happy. Yes. Big push for wireless charging charging standard. Dude, wireless charging sometimes doesn't work. Yeah. I, I don't know why I've been having issues with my iPhone. Like, my iPhone has the MagSafe. Yeah. It doesn't charge all the time. And I don't know why. Maybe it's dirty. I found that, like, it also takes up more space in a way. They're huge. They're, like, huge. They're huge. If you could literally just, if you could just hold up your iPhone in your room and it was charging. Oh, my God. That'd be Fucking like amazing. That, uh, like the prestige when they meet Tesla, <laughs> yeah, David yeah, Bowie yeah. Tesla, and he's like putting light bulbs in the yeah, snow. Yeah, but like I just recently bought my my new, like the new electric, like the wireless uh, charger, and it's like the MagSafe one. Yeah. And um, it stopped working after like a month, and it was from Apple. Honestly, I have a pretty old iPhone at this point. I do like how the new iPhones have uh, like the better, like the dual or triple camera on the back. Yeah. Other than that, though, I can't say I, I feel need... a huge incentive to get a new iPhone. I mean, I do. I think I need to get a new one because it starts getting slow and it starts getting shit. Yeah. If I get wireless charging, who knows what it'll do to my internet. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Honestly, this is the biggest incentive I've had to get a new uh, iPhone in a long time is literally just having a USB-C charger. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, please, a USB-C charger sounds so, it's so good. Ooh, it's true. We didn't check in with Gun Mario Let's today. Check and in. we also didn't update about Cool Cat, who was oh, terrifying. Oh, you were already ready. Dude, bro. honestly, Cool Cat fucked up my brain Dude, yesterday. Dude, it was pretty tweeter. Did I just put in tweeter? Yeah, you wrote tweeter. Tweeter.com. What the fuck? Dude, tweeter. Uh, Gun Mario, the fucking, the fucking, Fucking psychopath. Right, yeah. I'll just check it with oh, 122. Guys, oh, no. okay, at least you're going slow, guys. <laughs> yeah, thank if you. If you're if you're thinking of following, wait three days. Yeah, just space Stop them up. Stop complaining. Ah, uh, a chicken. Oh shit. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, whoa, 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 nice. That, speaking of FIFA. <laughs> yeah, that is unfortunately there. a gay chicken, so he will not be going. He will not be going to Qatar. Absolutely not. <laughs> Uh, they would make my birthday a national holiday, so I get no school and no homework all day, and I can play video games and stay up till 9.30. Again, very hard to tell if Gun Mario is a 40-year-old man or no. an 8-year-old child. Nope, you're buying me another one. I don't want to hear it. There's they Bender la They laugh up. at me because I'm different. I laugh at them because I'm high and don't give a fuck. <laughs> nice work. I'm going to get in and that's trouble from if find yeah. out. Stop breathing. Okay. Well, can we look at maybe his replies? Which is, <laughs> honestly, the replies are the, 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 the ones that we're a little worried that's what about. It, we, yeah. yeah. That's what originally hooked but, us on Gun Mario. Okay. Roblox raised. Okay. For oh. more information on this, search Roblox inflation on Oh, we're Google. learning about Gun Mario's actual interest here. Uh-oh. Bad YouTube content. Okay. Wait, what's bad YouTube content? Can we click on that? Oh, An no. account dedicating to showing bad YouTube content to the public. Wow, 217,000 followers. Oh. oh! Techno alert research. Wait, what? I don't know. That's so mean. That's so mean. 
Wow. Wait, but technically, passed away before Dream because he's revealed. Oh, fuck. Okay, so Technoblade, R.I.P. So that's why this is bad YouTube Oh, content. you see, I didn't know that. Yeah. I have not kept up with my YouTuber news. This is a risky account to be scrolling through, probably. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Let's go we'll slowly. Okay, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, let's. Yeah, we're done. We're that's, done. Let's, that's our Gun Mario yeah, check. Like, this is my fear with checking with stuff like Cool Cat and Gun Mario, is again, we're just. We don't know. Yeah, if it's the log ride. It's like, if, yeah. if, if we're on Splash we're Mountain, kinda we're like, kind of uh, going up the hill to the like, drop-off. No. Yeah. And we don't know when we're going to hit the uh, laughing place drop-off, guys. Yeah, that was... Because I'm, I'm worried. Anytime I read it, I'm, like, worried it's going to... I'm honestly just worried there's a slur. Yeah. There's a slur or there's something racist. And I just... I don't want to know what's in Cool Cat's basement <laughs> at the end of the day. Dude, cool Cat? What's, what was his name again? Daddy what? Uh, I can't remember. To me, he is Cool Cat. The man behind Cool Cat. Cool Cat might, might be some incel shit. I, I honestly, the, the it wasn't funny, but the the kind of uh, story there was him being um, being in trouble, pro possibly going to jail for owning a machine, a machine gun, an, an illegal, illegal possession machine gun, yeah. of machine guns. The coolest um, cat around. Well, guys, that's your gun Mario check for the Mario. day. Uh, um, I think that's it, yeah, guys. I think we gave you all the news we you gave need you to news. To, the, to need to news for today. All the news you need to need. Um, so uh, another thing we were uh, thinking about is possibly having some call-ins during the 24-hour stream. Yeah. Like, a baby, like, we'll have, like, a little interview. We'll chat with some people. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how we're deciding that, though. Yeah, I mean, maybe our, maybe our super... Uh, Helpful people like live and live and sleazy or live and sleazy. Yeah, maybe, I do want to. I do want to interview. Yeah, the like live and sleazy. <laughs> yeah. Foxy grandpa. Foxy grandpa. Uh, yeah. Uh, also not. Oh, Kevin's calling. Should I? Should I oh, answer let's live? Oh, Kevin. Yeah. Hey, Kevin, you're live on the back feed. <laughs> First time, long time. Love, love the feedback. Thank you, great, great Kevin. Day. Thank you so much, All Kevin. the news you need to know. Oh, yeah. the news in the streets. Only source for all this stuff. Hey, when you get a chance, check Discord because uh, it's not... I need I need help. I think I need help. Uh, what do you mean? What's happening? What Is it the AIs again? Tasteful AI experiments okay. going on with Kasim. Body here, uh, okay. Yeah. Market? Is it in Robbie's market? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, there it is. So oh, is he black? Can we pull up the Robbie's market Discord, Christian? Okay, we're pulling because, it up, Kevin. Wow, this is new black, lot, black body. Lot. Wait, what, Kevin? I don't, I didn't, I didn't, I've got to tell you that the word, the word black was in nowhere in the okay. or in, got in interpretation. It. It was not. But um, they now, just muscular, assumed, yeah. Muscular female may have been. May have been, got it. 100%. Yeah, let's scroll that, down, Christian. There's, there's one of, it, it decided to generate, and it was, again, not part of the prompt. Oh, But it did yeah. generate four of Kasim as, I believe, a kabuki warrior. A kabuki? Where is that? Which I don't think is, I, that's a, it's a combo that I don't think is valid or sensitive. We're, we're scrolling I, down. Is, is that it? Yeah. Wait, we have to go up. Where is There's that? A, if, you just, if you just sort by my post, you'll you'll see. Uh, okay. This is coming straight from Kevin. Um, yeah. I, I could, how's, how's your subs? I could use some help. Subs, uh, well, we do have, where are we at right now? We're at like 1,000. We're, we're approaching 1,100. We're approaching 1,100, so you can absolutely okay, jump so on the van wagon. Case, yeah. You might be able to provide me some I will be able to provide you. A, a couple is. bucks, a couple bucks for sure. Yeah, okay. yeah I got you. Okay, Don't worry. Okay. I, I did not prompt it to. Oh patient. my god, oh what the fuck god. is that? Are you on the. the yeah, we're looking. One? Yeah, well, I think. Was that the Kabuki one? Can no, that's like a. Clear which one's the Kabuki <laughs> I think one. that, that might be the Kabuki. You're not going to have to wonder which one it is. The pink know? mustache one? He looks it's a little like a garbage pail kid? I'm telling you. I had it render it, and then I reinterpreted it, and it said Kabuki um, Warrior. Um, okay. That, that is absolutely just... unheard of. Kevin, I know you love emerging technologies, uh, just... but what happens when they become racist? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it's not It's not what happens. That is the reality of the situation. No, it, it they are and racist. I, I just want to be clear. I also might have found out how to disable the... Uh, the safe content filter on oh, this thing. No. Oh, no. So are you no. just getting porn? 
And when you tell it, like, you know, a man with glasses holding giant whatever you'd like, yeah. it will generate Oh, it. my God. Good news. Well, well, it's not supposed to be in the data set, but I want to be clear that it is, and it's glistening. I would reason. like... All very glistening. I would red. very much like to see that. I'm going to send them to you and not post them in Ruby's Do not market, post but... it, but send it to us. Send it to the cream team. When we scroll down to the bottom, Christian, is there anything else in this hot... Uh... AI generated. What happened? Why did you Oh, there's oh, Kabuki. That's the yeah. Kabuki one. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a couple of him as Kanye as well. Uh, oh, no. Why did he look <laughs> like Why did he look like John Nall? Also, why did he look like Oh, my God. The Kanye West. How come it's like N64 graphics, Kanye? Oh, my God. Listen, I, all I did, all I did was type, because someone... I think you guys were talking about Kanye. Did you make him white in this one? <laughs> what was this? <laughs> no, that's, that's, well, you know, fun fact, that's actually a hybrid between uh, our dear friend Kasim and someone else that we know very well. Oh, that I... we were discussing at breakfast. Oh, okay, I think I, I, think I have an idea of who that is. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. my god. And it's pretty good once you know that. It's uh, oh my good. god, that's so wild. That is so wild. Oh my god! Why is his hand so big? Okay, all right. Kevin, uh, we all process in our ways. Uh, um, hopefully your vasectomy is feeling better now. Um, it feels so much better. Good. I can almost, I can almost full force punch him now, yeah. and it feels he's good almost again. cured. He's almost cured. He's gonna from, be fertile again. Yeah, at this rate. he's almost cured from what? <laughs> Fatherhood. Yeah, you responsibility. Yeah, responsibility. <laughs> I'm You're almost cured. cured. Half right. All the time. Right. Well, Kevin, uh, thank you so much for all of this. Yeah. Uh, hey, thanks so much. Love yeah. the feedback. Well, thank uh, you, Kevin. Thanks, thanks, huge thanks to Chase yeah, and yeah, McKendall. Yeah. Kendall. Big, 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 yeah. big fans. Make sure you like, sub, smash that bell, fucking yeah. like elbow drop it, do yeah. what you gotta do. Make sure to sub because um, you might need help soon. Yeah. Cover up your favorite sexual assault. You guys have a good time. All right. Thank you so much, Kevin. Thanks, Kev. Thanks, Kev. Love yeah. you, Kev. Have a fun time with Great AI. Work. Yep. Good you're, job. You're a genius. We love you. We love you. Okay, goodbye, Kevin. Wait, 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 who knows what he's ranting about? We gotta hang up on him. We tried to get off the stream. We and tried. He wouldn't let us. He wouldn't. We could have gotten. We could have escaped from this. That was well. He waited. He knew. He knew. He knew. I'm gonna try to get Kevin. Got I'm gonna try to get Kevin on uh, Friday. Surgical precision. He hit us right as we were Maybe saying we'll goodbye. Maybe we'll make a little segment up with Kevin where uh, he just does his AI stuff yeah. live. I need to get a Kevin puppet so when he calls in, I can make oh, it seem no, like he's no. on the couch. Yeah, he's right here. Kevin Cam? Kev Cam? Kev Cam? Kev Cam. Kev Cam. Um, guys, shout outs to Christian. Shout, shout outs to, to Kendall. Shout outs to Christian Kendall. They've been helping us with the stream. Can you guys put your social medias in the chat? Is Have that you been you doing do? that? Spam Good. away. Please Good follow that, them. Please. They're both amazing. Um, guys, so excited for Friday. So it's excited. It's going to be something. Today um, I got to start planning it a little, we do a little have more carefully. To start, we actually do have to start planning it. I'm going to take tomorrow morning to also like really sit down and yeah. plan it because we do need to we do need to plan it yeah, um, gotta plan because i also want to like take calls maybe listen to some voicemails i've got to buy construction simulator we have to buy construction simulator we have to um maybe we'll have a tournament maybe yeah. should we have a tournament with like the patrons oh we could Construction Simulator tournament. Yeah. Should I play it? Uh, should I play Construction Simulator ahead of time so you guys aren't watching us learn? Or it feels more honest to start the yeah. day of, right? We should do. No, okay. I think we should. No, don't learn. Don't learn. Okay, cool. Figure it out. I won't give myself an unfair advantage. Yeah. Um, yes, I do have to install it. I got to make sure it's ready to go. Guys, so excited for Friday. Same. I'm gonna die. I truly will die. Yeah. Kendall's hair is probably gonna end up red yeah. if we hit 1250, which I think we probably will. Happen anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a sub goal. It's a sub goal. Well, color wise, it just has to change. It's the natural thing okay. after a breakup. Yeah. Guys, so excited for this. Yeah. Guys, um, bless up. Bless up. Bless up to Kabuki. Bless uh, up to Kabuki Kassim. Cass. <laughs> Um, we love you all so much. Thank you for all the subs. We oh, love we're going to rate Gina, I think yeah. she's like Gina. Okay, we're rating Gina, guys. Enjoy so the Gina, darling. Enjoy the Ginas. Enjoy the darlings. We will see you all tomorrow at 1 p.m. And uh, Trailer Thursday. Trailer Thursday. Yeah, over there. All right, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye, I love you.
Or Raiden. Or Raiden.